What's going on? It's quite warm. Yeah, I'd say that was a Caribbean weather, Ted. That. <laughs> oh yes. Very good morning, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Here we are, Bryce Norton. Oh, Norton. That's right. Cotswolds, Oxfordshire, Plains, Ted's, Bears. What more do you want on a Friday morning? How are we doing? Right, we've, I think we've dodged the rain and uh, hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby bringing you live military aviation around the country. Here we are. How's it going? Hope you're all good. Right, I'll just wait for this passerby and we'll get our, uh, get our intro sorted. Hope we're all well and feeling good. Right, we should be having some heavy action shortly. So uh, just uh, grab your tea, grab everything you need. Yeah, I had to, uh, it was a case of dodging the rain today. Really, 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 um, real soggy weather um, here today at uh, Bryce Norton. But nevertheless, we're all good, we're alive, we're well. They're using runway 25. How's it all going? And of course, we're at our favourite end. Ooh, yeah. Time for some heavy action, right? Got uh, Got A400s here, we've got C17s, A330 Voyagers. You know how it is. So we're at the, uh, we've just checked in with the base not long, not too long ago. We've made, a, made our usual call in the morning. Just uh, let them know what we're doing. Sweet and neat, you know how we do it. And uh, hopefully we're in for a nice big climb Friday. So no quick climbs today. Hope, hope none of you have made it to Lake and Eve today because uh, you'll be very disappointed because it's uh, quiet, because it's closed. Morning. Ted Collins B channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton how you doing hope we're all good how's my fans how are we all doing we all good so we should have um, some departures very shortly let me just turn this round because obviously it's a little bit different we are roughing it today we're not on my van <laughs> but uh, you know it is it's all good here right let me see what that looks like Ted where are you mate yeah <laughs> yeah man right let's see if I can get down a little bit How's that looking? Is that looking any good? On, let, me, let me just, um, just give me one set. I'll be right back. <laughs> How are we doing, ladies, shirts, and teddy bears? Let me come up a little bit. Ted Coningsby channel, live here at RAF Bryce Norton. My name's Nick Oss. I'm your cameraman and commentator. How are we all going? Hope you're good. Right, let me just get Ted out of his waterproofs. Uh, this is not to be seen by uh, our younger viewers, because... Uh, for those that know. <laughs> oh, Ted, how you doing, buddy? You good? Ted's, Ted's just annoyed at this weather. Here he is. How we doing? My name's Nick Oss. I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. How are we all doing? Hope we're all good and feeling well. So we're here for Big Climb Friday. As uh, Thanks a lot, Chris, for that. I thought that was really good. Really, really... Ugh. Uh, shouldn't do that actually, in case, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're all good. We're in uh, Oxfordshire. Uh, we started a little bit later than we wanted. We It's uh, trying to sort this out in a in a footpath uh, with rain is is not good. It, it's it's not great at all. So um, we've had to just kind of dodge the rain a little bit, but we're all good. We're ready to go. There have been sadly two departures already this morning, but I usually miss one. And one of them um, looks like it ain't coming back. It's uh, going parking up, um, landing somewhere. 
So yeah, how are we all doing? How are we feeling? A little bit different. We usually get a bit lucky on a Friday. Uh, like I said, shame about the weather. Otherwise, I would have been here uh, in the uh, very early hours of the morning um, to get you the very, um, well, what time is it? 10 past nine. Uh, I think there's some sort of startup going on very shortly. They're doing radio checks at the moment. I'll give you a little tour of the history and um, and all the all the all the info and the history with the base and uh, yeah it's all good how are we all feeling hope we're good i know it's not quick climb friday but we got the we got the heavies today ted <laughs> right let's uh let's fling this round it's nice and quiet Right, where's my phone actually, Ted? Right, Ted and I are, are on adventures, as you know, we're all going all over the country to bring you live military aviation. And we found ourselves at the biggest Royal Air Force station. Massive shout out to everyone that's tuned in. Right, let's rough this. We're roughing it today, man. We are proper roughing it today. <laughs> oh, yes. Right, I'm gonna do my usual social media sharing is caring. Don't forget you can do that too as well, help out the channel. My post was sent. Why not let everyone uh, know that we're live? <laughs> nice and peaceful here isn't it so we are the other end of the runway so <laughs> this is pretty much what we do on a quick climb friday you know opposite end of the runway and get the climbs uh, today we're at uh, the opposite end of uh, runway 25 which is uh, 07 hope we're all good how are we all feeling hope we're good thanks everyone that's tuned in this morning uh, we're a little bit earlier than anticipated. I hope that's that was a wise move. I hope that was that, I hope that was good, and uh, let's hope it pays off. So we've managed to get you four streams um, this week rather than our usual five, and uh, yet we decided to stick to the plan. I've always said that, especially when it comes to plane spotting, always stick to the plan because you know the luck. You move, you lose happens pretty much quite often doesn't it so uh we don't want to do that so this is kind of similar to um what goes on at milden hall with the air to air refueling. Sounds like a startup. Just to give you a pan of what I've got to deal with. <laughs> oh yeah. So again, this is uh, RAF Bryce Norton. Home of the Voyager, which is the RAF's version of the uh, air to air refueling KC 135.
Morning. Give you a little rundown on uh, who's based here, and uh, don't forget this was uh, at some point a little link with the uh, with the 350 first, I think it was, or the 100th Air Refueling Wing, 100th Bomb Group. Um, their lineage kind of came here for a little bit, um, but we'll talk about the link between that because the B47 Stratojets were here at some point as a joint Royal Air Force United States Air Force in the 50s. And I think it was the 351st again as a reserve, um, but they um, they didn't quite establish themselves, and in the end they were uh, deactivated. Uh, if you remember our talks with uh, Mildenhall and the 100th Bomb Group, but again, I'll give you all the details shortly. A nice relaxed pace today. Home of the heavies. It's RAF Bryce Norton, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Oh, yeah. So, this um, base was built in 1935, just to give you an idea. Now, Based units, flying units, we'll talk about the rest of them as well, because there are the Reggies here. There are RAF Regiment. But uh, flying occupants, we have number 10 Squadron, 24 Squadron, 30 Squadron, 70 Squadron, 99 Squadron, 101 Squadron, and 206 Squadron. There are uh, based units that fly here at uh, RAF Bryce Norton. This is where uh, the base provides a global air mobility force and it's uh, home to the largest Royal Air Force station, approximately 5,800 staff personnel, uh, 300 civilian staff and 1,200 contractors, oh and a bear. And uh, it's home to the RAF's air mobility force encompassing strategic and tactical air transport and air-to-air -air refueling uh, forces. That's uh, You'll see that abbreviated as AAR, and as well as home to many lodger and reserve units. And for those that like to play the game, we do like to play Bry's Bingo. It's a bit of a shame because we've got a bit of a, um, we've got a, bit of a late start because we've missed the A400 and the Voyager early this morning. God, I used to drive this car. It's one of my old cars, man. Look at this. Yeah, a little one bar 500. I used to have one of them. I used to have, I had the, um, oh, what was it called? The launch edition. It was like limited edition with all the, like, special exhaust from uh, Italy. <laughs> it was in a magazine, my, my one. It had the uh, amazing engine in that. It had something s crazy horsepower for a little thing like that. <laughs> anyway, back to Bryce. So we do play Bryce Bingo, and that's the case of uh, an A400, a Voyager, and the C17, if we can see those today. That'll be great, especially we've had a bit of a late start. And of course, the um, the Bryce Norton Flying Club as well, that'd be nice, and the Sky Van as well. So it does have a mixed fleet of aircraft here. Sadly, the C130 is no longer, uh, which was retired last year. Um, which was quite emotional because I think that that was my first sort of ever aircraft I've actually physically seen retire actually was aware of and actually seen the farewell which was quite sad I, uh, I've never seen an experience anything like that and by the sound of it the pilots were were sad as well
so um, we mentioned um, before that we have uh, conversion units and test and evaluation units we've got 206 squadron playing the role of the uh, test and evaluation unit there's furthermore there's 24 squadron and uh, and I think it's 10 squadron are they the OCU oh, I'll run down let's go through them actually so 10, 10 squadron uh, they a um, little bit of history they flew their first RAF aircraft over Berlin in World War II uh, aircraft flown by the squadron have included the Halifax uh, the B2 and the 3 models. Hiya, you're Hi. right. Uh, the Dakota, the VC10, and it provides the squadron vital air to air refueling support. That's 10 squadron, and you'll see them fly the uh, Voyager. They were formed at Farnborough in 1915, and uh, in 2011 they uh, reformed on the 1st of July. 2011 as the first Voyager squadron. Next up, let's go with 24. And uh, aircraft operated by them with the Tiger Moth, Dakota, one and four marks of that, and the Hastings. They train air crew and engineers of the air mobility fleet. They too formed in 1915 at Hounslow as a uh, the Havilland 2 scout unit. They uh, fly, of course, both the Atlas A400M and the C17. You can get some, you can get some uh, interesting visitors, just like Mildenhall here as well. Uh, we've also got next up, like we said, 30 Squadron. We will talk about the non-flying squadrons as well. 30 Squadron, uh, the newest operational unit to use the Airbus A400M in global operations, war fighting, humanitarian and disaster relief scenarios. They formed in 1914 as a reconnaissance unit formed at Farnborough in 1914. Although the squadron number was not allocated until 1915. At 1938 they uh, declared a, as a bomber squadron operating the Blenheim. And they moved here in 2011 and uh, like I said they fly the A400. Seventy Squadron. They use the traditional Roman numerals LXX. They were formed again in 1916 at Farnborough. A lot of these are formed in Farnborough. Amazing. And uh, they fly the A400. And they got 99 Squadron. And they currently fly the uh, C17 Globe Master 3. They were the first unit to convert to Wellington bombers in World War II. They uh, flew the Havilland 9, DH-9 bomber and the Britannia. Uh, they formed in 1917 at Yatesbury as a bomber squadron. And in 1940 they flew uh, during World War II as a part of a bomber command. They moved here in 1970 so they've been here quite a while but uh, reformed in 2000 as a sole UK operator of the C-17 Globemaster. One hundred and one. Fly the Voyager, and uh, they formed at South Farnborough uh, in 1942. Flew all three 1,000 bomber raids without loss. That's something to behold. One hundred and one Squadron. Wow. And we mentioned the test and evaluation squadron as well. And uh, they test and evaluate UK defence heavy aircraft, uh, the, such as the A400. They flew anti-submarine -sub patrols throughout the World War II. After a brief period as a transport unit, 206 Squadron returned to maritime flying in 1952. Aircraft flown, Shackleton, Avro Anson, Boeing Fortress, Hawker Sidley, Nimrod, and the Herc. They moved in Bryce in 2014. You can hear an engine running in the background. We should uh, hopefully get a departure. Not too long. Now, 
206 formed on the 25th of October 1916 as 6th Squadron, uh, Royal Naval Air Service. Sounds nice down there, doesn't it? Hopefully not too long. So, moving down the line, we've got 501 Squadron, that's the Royal Auxiliary Air Force. Uh, 622 Squadron as well, they're another Royal Auxiliary Air Force. These, see, we can't forget the uh, Royal Auxiliary Air Force as well. So they, they you know, these, this unit, uh, they carry out logistics, supply, storage and distribution. Again, fundamental part of the Air Force. They've got 501, 622. 4624 Squadron, Royal Auxiliary Air Force again. Um, 4624. They prepare and load cargo and passengers for worldwide travel on RAF Air Transport Coalition and charter aircraft. Don't forget to hit the light, ladies, shins, and teddy bears. Come on, it's going to be a slow start, but we'll get there. Uh, 4626, again, another role that's, you know, important. Medical reserves. They provide personnel to the Royal Air Force Defence Medical Services. She all makes up one family, doesn't it? Amazing. And then two squadron RAF regiments. So we've got the Reggies, and one of our characters is part of the regiment. They actually uh, formed in 1922, two squadron RAF regiment, as an armoured car company. All right, so they're based here, and the squadron is a, a para uh, they're, they're parachute trained. So a bit like Reggie when he says he likes to jump out of aircraft, we'll probably see him jump out very shortly. Uh, it's composed of 175 personnel ranged into four flights and supporting elements. They have performed some of the first reconnaissance in the Western Desert in 1940 for the British Army. 2624 Squadron, Royal, Royal Auxiliary Air Force Regiment, another Reggie. They're recruited from all over southern England and in recent years have been deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan, Somalia and domestically. So let's not forget the regiment. UK Mobile Air Movement Squadron. Again, another component we don't always speak about. They enable mobile movements capability by processing, loading and unloading freight and uh, personnel from aircraft. Again, these are things we don't always think about. Operational Support Squadron based here as well. They fall under one air mobility wing of the support force. They uh, provide first class training to one air mobility wing personnel, equipping and preparing specialized movers to support defense requirements when called for. So they're ready to be deployed and offer worldwide movements support to defense aircraft and crews via five permanent air movements detachments and roving RAF liaison team and embedded trade group. Uh, 18 logistics movements personnel within specialized units in the UK. And uh, see, it's amazing isn't it we've got uh, three more units we've got the voluntary band as well the Royal Air Force Prize Norton voluntary band oi, oi. the joint air delivery test and evaluation unit air mobility force headquarters also got one air mobility wing tactical medical wing and airborne delivery wing Keyville airfield is uh, is under the control of RAF Bryce Norton. The airfield is frequently used for fixed wing and rotary aircraft tactical training and also plays host to large scale military exercises, which is not too far from here. So it's a bit like the old, when I, when I used to mention about um, satellite stations. So there's our aircraft, you can just about see it. That's, uh, that's the one that's going to go out very shortly. Just about see the, oops, hello there. So I'm not using my tripod that I normally use. This one's a bit taller, lightweight, just to get over the fence. Ted Coningsby Channel take pride in contacting the base. Um, just out of pure courtesy, we like to let the base know what we're doing and why we're here. Get some to tune in as well. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like, Lady Shen Teddy Bears. This is your unique military aviation channel with our very own squadron leader Ted Coningsby. Hope we're all good. Hope you're all feeling well. Mm -hmm. Let me just get down from here for a sec. Let me have a little quick quick drink if I may.
very good morning to everyone that's tuned in Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton hope we're all good hope we're feeling well won't be too long till we get a movement don't you worry about that Don't forget to please hit the like button. Do support the channel. It won't be too long till we get our first movement. I can assure you of that. LEJ approach. Chris blocks a uh, Margot Baxter. How you all doing? Mark Edge. How's it all going? David Binch. Ryan Henry. How's it going? Phil Roger. Good morning, Annie G. Good morning to you. Oi, oi. Stu Martin. RSVP. How you going? White Wizard, how's it going? Oh no, should be uh, very close to 44.6 thousand subscribers. Let me just sort this little tiny bit of movement. We've got a little bit of movement on the tripod here. Let me see if I can fix that, hang on. And if I just adjust that there now. Give me a set. This isn't my usual setup, by the way. This is old. This is old school setup. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Don't forget to uh, issue out um, if you're on our Discord. I should, we should do this, shouldn't we? We should make it a thing. When it's better weather, we could do the um, the Bryce Bingo. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty cool. We can actually issue that, like uh, random cards out. <laughs> See if we can do it. We need the uh, Skyvan A400 C17 Voyager and a random aircraft. Oh, and the Lodger aircraft, the uh, Flying Club, Bryce Flying Club. Thanks, Margot, for the super chats. Guards marches uh, will be uh, happening very shortly. We'll just wait for this departure. There goes that uh, prize bingo needs to be done. It is great fun. I know. I know. There's there's plenty of random stuff. It's nice and peaceful here, isn't it? It's really good. I do like this spot. It's a nice spot. It's 
Dakota yet. Nice Dakota there. They're presenting as a memorial. It doesn't fly, it's a, a memorial. To the air dispatch. So uh, since Arnhem, it's been the uh, emblem of the Royal Air Force's air dispatch. And uh, it was bought by the uh, Air Dispatch Association as a memorial to the dispatchers who uh, lost their lives, who made the ultimate sacrifice in service of their country. Uh, this particular aircraft uh, flew during uh, Operation Dynamo, uh, the Berlin aircraft uh, airlift, and uh, it stands outside 47 Air Dispatch Squadron RLC at RAF Bryce Norton here. It moved here in 2002 when the squadron relocated from RAF Lynham. So it's been uh, restored and looked after. And that's in memory of the 47 Air Dispatch Squadron. So the 47 Air Dispatch Squadron, um, it's uh, one of uh, only two Air Dispatch units remaining in the British Army, the other being 395 Air Dispatch Troop RLC. They provide crucial support for Airborne Task Force and they operate here. Hiya. Let's go. Or at least operated here, sorry. <laughs> so I just realised what I just said. Um, there you go. It's a nice, peaceful. It is really. I've had some great times there. We've we've had some fun times, haven't we? Some really good times. I just. Uh, I'll never forget my first time at Brian's. I was. I, I fell in love with it. It's just such a nice, nice, peaceful place to enjoy heavies, and you get some nice surprises sometimes. Trust me. You can get. You can get them. I think. Uh, We've had Apaches come through, we've had the SAS come through, but I think one of the most interesting for me, because I wasn't expecting it, is a, a TUI aircraft. That's right, TUI, <laughs> the uh, commercial airliner. Um, but it was actually, it was still military. I didn't, didn't, uh, you know, I didn't go down the route of being the, uh, you know, doing civilian stuff. No, it just, um, it, it, the RAF uh, can contract a company for uh, to um, tra transit personnel basically and that was it why not it is beautiful it is peaceful to hear the skylarks and all the birds it is lovely Dakota there now. Thanks a lot. I <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button, Lady Shins Teddy Bears. Come on. Do support the channel by hitting the like. Let's go. Hit the like button. 
and to support the channel. That's what it's all about. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, ladies and steady bears. It does support the channel. Let's try and get a thousand likes today. We're in for a long, long stream today, hopefully. Um, it's only it's only 9.41, which is quite good. That's uh, that's good. Let's try and get a thousand likes, ladies and steady bears. The reason? Well, YouTube will recommend the stream if we get a thousand likes. And that does a world of good for us. YouTube will uh, recommend the stream if we get a thousand likes. You've seen our views, you've seen our viewers, you've seen how the channel climbs and grows. This can't be done without your support. Um, hitting the like basically uh, starts creating a, like, a, like a trend on YouTube and what that'll do is that YouTube will recommend it and that will go in people's like home or coming up next or recommendations for our viewers who are interested in um, aviation. And what that can do is because of that, it's almost like a little advertisement. So when people see that hopefully they'll click it come and watch us and that will increase our views and hopefully those views will turn into subscribers so that's how our channel's been growing there's the AWCU how you doing oi oi big shout out to them like I said we are expecting a departure hopefully very shortly <laughs> don't know any times or anything they're not publicized but uh, there should be a departure soon I've got a feeling because of the uh, that tail pinging over there. That'd be nice to catch that. Nice and good. Doing, ladies, gents, teddy bears. Hope we're all good. Hopefully, not too long until we get our movements. Come on, come on, Bryce. Bryce is going to come alive. Thanks, everyone, that's getting the Ted's out. And so that you don't miss out, don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell button. I'll keep you notified of our latest and greatest live streams and videos. Come on. It's a peaceful little spot. I do like it. It's nice. It's good. But the rain. I think it's gone. I think. I think it's gone. Let's hope it's. Uh, that was it. 
That's right, White Wizard, how you doing, my man? Time to fire up that big iron, I know. It's got to be done, man. Very good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from in the world. Hope you're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Ted Coningsby Channel, live here at RAF Bryce Norton. How you doing, mate? You good? Just be careful, mate. It's a bit muddy. Don't want any incidents here. And it's a little bit windy as well. I'm not too sure about your berry there, mate. Just uh, come over this side a little bit. <laughs> it would uh, be emotional if that happened. Are you right? Are you good? So it's just waiting patiently. And uh, just have a little look around. Let's have a look at these guards marches while Ted's here. Guards marches, just have a look what we got here, Ted. Right, let's just climb up here. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> it's like really, really, it's, it's a challenge. All right, how far can we do this guards march, Ted? 
Okay, we'll do it from there, shall we? Right, okay, it's a little bit different than normal, this. A little bit different, all right. Um, okay, thank you very much, everyone, that's uh, tuned in today. We've got uh, Margot Baxter. Condolences to our TCS members who have lost loved ones recently. Thinking of you. Ah, oh, thanks a lot, Margot. And uh, I know that um, uh, there's, um, I know one of our, we've had quite a few, actually, um, lately, sadly. Um, which was quite sad. Um, we've got Heather's mum. Uh, it's a funeral. So condolences. Guards march and a bear hug. And uh, Graham at Robert, I hope you're well. I had some news of uh, sorry for your loss, uh, Graham at Robert as well. Sorry about that. From all of us at the TCS, our thoughts are with you. I'm sorry to hear about the losses and. All our TCS members, we wish you as well good health and I hope you're okay. Because, um, you know, it's a tough world out there. It is very tough. There's always something going on. That's why you got to just... You just never know what's going to happen tomorrow. That's why you just got to make the most of every day. And just, you know, and just... And just be around happy things. I know sometimes it can be tough. I know things can be rough. But we're a, we're a little family here. We do take care of each other. Hence our little shout outs and thoughts to and prayers to all those uh, Margot for Ted Salmon Sarnies Guards March Jonathan McD gifting a Ted Connors me membership thank you very much Guards March for you man thank you very much for gifting thank you that's very kind of you thank you very much it's very peaceful here Ted isn't it that's right. We don't we don't like to see anyone upset and you know going through some tough times, whether physically, mentally, or or going through uh, bereavement. We're uh, you know we are we are one little happy little happy little unit, and we do take care of each other. You know, all those going through tough times. There's a little high five to big you up. As I know, you can have a lot of challenges. You want me to look over there? All right, Ted. One sec, got to listen to the boss, ain't I? <laughs> Ted's the boss. waiting for, for this departure and anything else that comes with it. Nice one, Kieran. Jad, how you doing, Eric? How's it going? I know. We are climbing, climbing high. We're very close now to, uh, nearly, we're nearly on 45K, man. That's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so I'm having a good time over there. But there, when this place comes alive, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, unfortunately, I have missed two aircraft today um, while getting here, but um, that was planned to, in fact, I wasn't, I wasn't um, planning to start the live until, uh, until uh, 11 o'clock today but uh, started early see if I can catch something for you is Rodney on one of them as well the, the, the rabbit or the hare <laughs> that's quite funny that is yeah so this is what we're expecting to go out very shortly hopefully <laughs> Incredible if we can catch that. A nice start to the morning.
but uh, lots of history here um, a lot of um, a lot of gliders were here as well back in the time some some amazing gliders that that look look mean as well I'll show you them uh, or at least tell you what they are sorry so you can have a look um, but they were uh, very interesting aircraft like I said it was um, it did host the US Air Force as well very briefly um, but uh, I think it was something to do with extending as well Fairford in the end but uh, that didn't quite go go to plan if I remember correctly from from basically cross-referencing Mildenhall and uh, notes from Fairford um, that I read once but uh, we'll get there we'll get there with the history I think there are um, there was a note um, uh, to do with um, parachutes and stuff so that would be quite good bit of a Reggie Reggie stuff it's all good but I do like this spot I don't know why I just like it it's peaceful makes a little change makes it a little bit different it reminds me of quick climb Friday except we've got big iron instead patiently the, the forecast for later looks like weather from the Caribbean I'm telling you <laughs> just a slight exaggeration there but we shall see isn't it weird to, to um, not have well first of all the A400 that had just two engines is gone and uh, it's just weird not to see the uh, C130s here it was always good wasn't it uh, these things happen Shouldn't be too long for a uh, departure. Come on, this is pinging. You got uh, the aircraft there just uh, flashing away. Let's get some heavyweight action here, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Ted Connigsby channeled live here at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire. It's a lovely part of the world as well. Fairford, not too far away, about 20 miles, I think it is. Not too far at all. Come on, Bryce. Come on, live. It will do. Don't worry. Gives me a chance, though, to go on the chats and see how we're all doing. Good to see many of you on here. Don't forget to hit the like and do subscribe to the channel. How we doing? How's our channel performing now? What we doing? Oh, we've, we've well, we've hit 44.6k, so that is a result. Nice. That's impressive. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh yeah. <laughs> Paul, hi Jinx, how you doing? Oi oi to you as well. Hope you're good. De -de -de -de. Now 
<laughs> Mark Huffer, how you doing, man? <laughs> uh, no tractors today that I can see. Green Diesel, thank you very much. You're welcome. Synchro Tones, how you doing? Hope you're good. Here, Lost Born. Thanks a lot, man. Hope you're good. Tim Gooch, make sure you have a good time tonight, man. Um, sadly, I can't make that one. I would have loved to, but I uh, can't make that, sadly. Strike the light. Come on. Let's try and get some. Uh, let's try and get a buzz going. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it, do it. It's a bit of a nice way to start the weekend with some heavies. You know how it is here. When it starts going, it goes. Right, let's check, uh, check ADSB, check the flight radar. Flight radar seems to be good for here because you always get um, aircraft sort of pinging on the ground on flight radar, I've noticed. Which is quite good. That's very helpful on flight radar. I use a bit of both. I use mainly ADSB. And. What's everyone doing this weekend? Come on, anyone working sadly this weekend? What you all doing this weekend? Let me know. <laughs> Members, I might, um, I am working on, uh, hopefully I'll get you a trailer as well soon. Um, but uh, let me see, actually I won't spoil it. Uh, sorry, I'll give you a bit of, I gave you a clue and then ran away from it. <laughs> now what I was saying, I'm working on, um, I've got two more um, Lost Airfield episodes that I'm working on. So that's pretty cool. But I may be able to uh, swing by another one that I've got lined up for the future as well. Lots of stuff going on with the Tech on SB channel. Lots of things going on. Um, Ted, uh, hopefully will be going through the Mac loop at some point next month. I think it is, so he may just disappear. I'm paying, right? Listen, where possible, right? If it has to be like a, a last minute decision, I'm going to pay a taxi driver to collect him and take him to a base wherever I am, if it has to be, if it's during a stream. Um, but other than that, I could leave him I could leave him there and they can go through anyway. But uh, I don't like doing shows without him. It seems weird. It's just, uh, it's not the same, is it? Bless him, I always miss him. I'm like, oh, he's like my little work mate. I see, you know, I'm in the van driving with him and it's like my little mate. <laughs> so like, I look at him and I'm like, yeah, man, we're off to work. We're like van buddies, you know, like van, van, like the van people that you see in the white vans. <laughs> I'm going to have to get me and Ted a high vis. Like, I'll have to get Ted a little mini high vis jacket. Oh, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Can you imagine that? The, the van people. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm st I can't stop laughing. Nice to see that. Uh, Alex Binks is measuring stuff in the new house. Working on some bits at home. Got a few carting jobs to do. It's got, Alex has got huge news. Paul M. Hennings, how you doing, man? Landed, liked, shared, and oi oi. TCS family. Oh, yeah. Nikos, Claire Bear, Spanner Flight. And all around the world, nice one. Tony Rivers, uh, work, work, and work until Tuesday for me. Ah. Oh. Short break, I'm working unfortunately. Tony Rivers is working. That's right, Mark Edge. Strike the light. Could be a good emote. <laughs> Frank Wyshynski, how you doing, oi oi? It is, yes, an old World War II pillbox. You'll find plenty of these at bases. 
in fact all the bases that there are dotted about you know how it is <laughs> oh you, 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 you know how it is <laughs> Fab's art enjoy yeah i know it's lovely isn't it you could have it as background oh, so cool Duxford car wash garden make sure mum is getting better hope she gets better Paul <laughs> Alex McMahon with van and bear <laughs> pan 65 do you know what I don't think I've had a coffee today no it's just uh, I've had tea today Captain A how you doing good day wolf uh, 828 pack Darren Arwood, how you doing? Someone has mentioned Teddy Bear Pitney, it's just trying to fit that in. Trying to fit that in is... <sighs> it may be something when, during holidays, like Easter and uh, stuff like that, I can sort something out. Eddie Jones is enjoying his retirement. Marco, how you doing? Hope you good. Chris Bloxham, strike the light. Absolutely. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's a little bit nippy, but it'll be alright. We'll get there. It's got 64 back now, mate, so I don't know if you just wanted to come and swap and use that instead. Edward Coates. Uh, it's fantastic from Nikos filming of Turbo's practice display. How many YouTube uh, views there have been? I know, it's like 20, tw 222,000, I think it is. Um, let me have a little check. It seems to be going um, increasing all the time, doesn't it? Let's have a look. 228,000 views. That'll do. That's brilliant. I'll take that. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> well, considering he was still 1,500 foot, I can't wait for him to drop. He's got two more displays. So I don't know if he's done any more this week uh, from Monday. If anyone, does anyone know if he's done any? Actually, I'll just message him. How's that? I'll just message him. Saves that, doesn't it? But yeah, it'd be a lot easier for me now when he's at 500 feet. Lots of people asking about Mac Loop. There's lots of places you can view at Mac Loop. Um, probably best to just, I don't know, just Google Mac Loop places to view because there's loads of different parts of it. It's not just about, I know there's a good good site about Cad East and West, but it's not just okay, there. Okay. There is parking, and but the obviously, hence the name Loop. It, there are loads of other places. Is it Bulch as well? People like to go there as well. And is it Chorus Corner? There's so many different places to view. Really, really cool. I mean, I, I only know Cad East and West and Bulch. But I know Bulch because I've seen it. I've, I've driven past it. Um, some of them have parking as well, which is good. Silver Trig was certainly great filming on that turbo video. Lots of vapour as well. Oh yeah, rainbow spluffage as well. Cool.
Perry, how you doing, man? Perry's accidentally booked a uh, a cottage in Ma uh, for the <laughs> in the Mac Loop. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Darren, they're using runway 25 today. And we're at 07N. So just like uh, Quick Climb Friday. Take care, Tony. <laughs> right so there is right is that still flashing away there now let's have a look here now there you go come on right just have a quick drink Second. Oh well, I what's this? A movement. We got a little teddy plane. Look. Oh. Bryce Bingo. Here we go. was a hawk I probably would have missed that you know <laughs> hey there you go a little piper I think it was just about to get a drink how dare I didn't even hear that Of all the times I went to go and get a drink. Seriously, come on. <laughs> there you go, our first movement of the day. A little Ted plane. Well, there we go. A tiny little piper. So that's uh, one off the uh, off the 
off the prize bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Those sneaky hawks, I know. So we can tick that off the Bryce Bingo. The uh, Bryce Norton Flying Club aircraft, the Piper. So, right, on the ground we've got uh, a Voyager and an A400 that's pinging on the ground. Blenheim 3-1 and Tartan. Yes! That's our little mate just above, bless it. Right, so we're going to uh, get some movement very shortly then, that's good. It's amazing, right? You guys can hear stuff that I can't hear because you're what you're listening to. It's the mic is really good. It's such a good mic. I'm so proud of it. It's really good. But you guys said you can hear the. I can't hear it, but I've had a look. I mean, I could probably try and hear it if I really, really tried to. If you know what I mean. But the fact that you guys, this mic is so good. Right, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a panning check, ladies, should to Teddy Bears. Give me one sec. So, look, because I'm. It's, I've really cramped myself in today. <laughs> so I'm going to just turn around and go, boom, lean back, job done. Right, okay. I think we got that, Ted. <laughs> the balancing act. Oh, I can hear it now. I can hear, I can hear the... Uh... Right, get ready. Come on. Get ready for the heavies. Come on, here we go. This is what we wanted. Come on. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton. Hit the like. Come on. Let's go. Let's get this done. Where did it go? Ground run complete? You're joking. Hmm. 
Okay, it was a ground run. I was getting all excited. Definitely hear the um, amazing. Well, I can still hear the engines running down there now. 816 watching, don't forget to hit the like button. Oh no, we've had a piper. <laughs> Just. I nearly missed it as well. I think the Voyager is taxiing now. And the A400, right, let's have a look. Come on. I think we're going to get two in one here. I think so.
Yeah, so I can see uh, two two aircraft taxiing. That's the uh, A400 first, along with the Voyager behind it. You know, it's big climb Friday. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, the A400's disappeared. Come on, Bryce, send it, come on. Was it waiting for the little piper to land? I think it is. Something landing down there. Touch and go, look. I think it's just the Voyager. I hope I'm wrong, because that means we get the A400 as well. But the A400, Blenheim, has just disappeared. Oh, hang on, it is here. Oh, oh. Let's do it. Come on. Here we go, Ted Coningsby Channel. Live here at Bryce Norton. RAF Bryce Norton, here we go. Just look at this. Come on. This is so cool. It's a bit like Quick Climb Friday, but Big Climb Friday. We 
and you get heavy iron thrown at you, you better start running. <laughs> Keep your berries on, hold on to them. Time to fasten your seatbelts. Have a safe flight. Here we go. Here we go. Morning. Oh, look at this. 
Beautiful, eh? Just gonna get my foot in a minute. She goes. Tartan, five nine, I think it was. Beautiful. Bit of balancing going on here now. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Still alive, still good. So that's two heavies, that's good. So we just need a C17, which I'm quite happy to say we didn't miss that this morning. So what we've seen is what we missed in the morning anyway. So that's good. As a, as a consolation to make me feel better. Right, what's happening with this thing here? Come on. going on down there oh 
look at this! Um. Pull up. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes! And I'm gonna get me one of these! I love that thing. I absolutely. I'm gonna stick me some wings on my uh, on my van, Sky Van. Absolutely awesome. I'm gonna get one of them. I love that thing. <laughs> yes. They are mint, I love them. Yeah, the Piper is inbound, but I'm just taken away by the Sky Van. I'm here for heavies, but I'm loving the Sky Van. It is awesome, it's even got a little go faster stripe on the top. I love that. I've got to get one. How much? Right, looks like the uh, pipe is just doing a uh, low approach. It's all go now, isn't it? So we just need the C17 to complete the prize bingo. Um, I think that's for just the that's just for aircraft that are actually here. Um, where's that sky van? So um, <laughs> it's quite high up, man. Um, how cool is that? And that that um, I think it's I'm not sure. Let's have a look. That's still going that one. Oh, hang on, where's it gone? No, it's gone. Oh, that one's gone now. Maybe that was the one doing the ground run then. Again, hope I'm wrong, because that means we get it. <laughs> Man, I've got to get myself a sky van. Vans are not the same. Look at it. Look at that van now, without wings. Shocking, isn't it? Oh, it's the guy with the BM. I think we know him. Didn't he drive past last time? Or was that the yellow car? I can't remember. I swear it was the blue BM. He came on last time. Come on, hit the like. Got to get a thousand likes. We need a thousand likes, man. Can't we? Let this not be the only, the, the one and only stream that didn't get a thousand likes for our mainstream. Come on. Hit the like, let's do this.
hit the light, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let's try and get a thousand likes on this stream. And uh, YouTube will recommend it. Like I said, I've, I've always said this, it's not like a Facebook or an Instagram post where it's just a numbers game. It really does have a major impact on our viewers uh, by hitting the like button, YouTube will recommend it. Uh, so if we get like a thousand likes, which we have done, you've seen our numbers grow and it's because of this that I'm pushing it all the time. Uh, getting a thousand likes will get YouTube hopefully to recommend the stream and once it gets recommended, that's more exposure and more exposure can lead to more viewers and more viewers can hopefully lead to more subscribers for us and let the channel grow. Right, so two of the heavies gone out, a 400 and a Voyager, which is great. That's always a relief because that's what we were here for, the big iron. Uh, we just need the uh, the monster, the C-17. Although, however, the Voyager is larger, as in length, than the it's larger of the Royal Air Force fleet. Come on. So nice to see the sky van. <laughs> always, always a classic. Love that. It's a really cool, cool, cool aircraft. So there's our uh, quick climbs there. <laughs> oh, big climbs. Big climb Friday today. Absolutely brilliant. So that tail has gone. I don't know where it's gone. I'm wondering if that is the C-17. It'd be nice to get it. So the uh, aircraft in sight <laughs> doesn't have t normally two stabilizers tails. So it's a. Uh, it, it is a. Uh, they are two A400s parked there. How are we doing, ladies, gents, teddy bears? Hope you enjoyed those departures. Yeah, so just keep an eye out on flight radar and ADSB if you want to keep a keep a closer track on them where they are. You're watching the Ted Coningsby channel live here on YouTube. Oh yes, TCS live here at RAF Bryce Norton, home of the heavyweights and a few interesting other aircraft, which is pretty cool. And. Uh, Yes, it is something fascinating about being on the opposite end of the runway. I've always said this, it's something a little bit different. And we don't mind, we'll mix it up, you know, because sometimes we'll come here and they're using 07, which is really cool. So that's the... That is a C-17 moving. I don't know if it's departing, I think it's... I'm not sure, something was having a ground, ground run. I'm hoping I'm wrong and that departs because that would be amazing. That'll just make the day that wouldn't it really to get that as well. Oh please. 
please take off wouldn't that just be amazing so that's the c17 oh, let's uh, taxi in but i'm not sure if it's uh, if that is it the only way i can tell that it's a c17 from just the tail is that sort of towards the top part of the tail on the a a400 it's, it's almost got a rounded top the c17 doesn't if that makes any sense that's the only way i can tell from a distance for me anyway as it goes up it's it sort of bulges out like a little like a like it's rounded and the fact that it's got the puma on it as well that that uh, for me that's that tells me the squadron marking but uh, this would be a result if this is going out. There's another There's another A400 Ego that's just pinged up as well. Is this going to go? Are we going to? I mean, it's been pinging for a long time. It's not on the uh, flight radar. So let's hope this C-17 turns towards us. It's not on the uh, flight radar. I've got the A400 on the uh, where the main ASP is. That's that's a totally that's a different aircraft. I got that. Um, unless it is just literally just going to the other side. Yeah, that that's a different aircraft. That A400. There's, there's another one. This is a, this is a C17. There is a A400 on the main ASP Ego. This could just be. It could even be. Could be towed. I don't know. There's a lot of ground movement going on at the moment. But no worries. Nevertheless, we got to see a little bit of a C17 move, right? <laughs>
Thanks for that white wizard. About the collision lights, that's very interesting. Thank you for that. I've got the little piper coming back in but yeah keep an eye on the uh, A400 something's having a ground run I'm not having a good time by the sound of it <laughs> um, and then we've got a C17 that's not pinging but moving um, so let's have a look it's quite unusual for them to go on the other side I don't know why they would go over that side because they, they're normally over here aren't they so who knows but uh, be a nice bonus if we get the C17. I think that will complete our prize bingo. Got the Skyvan, A400, a Piper, and the Voyager. So far, it's all go here. If we do get that C17, it's going to be a good one. It's always good to get a C17. But they are based here, which is nice because you can see them quite often. Currently airborne that we think are coming back are the Voyager A400 and the Skyvan. You're watching the Ted Connorsby channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton. Now we all doing it's uh, it's just reasonably dry now, so that's all good. So just go keep a look out on your uh, flight radar ADSB, see if we've got anything else coming. And uh, keep an eye on Ego. That's the call sign for the uh, A400. See what that's doing. But there is a ground run as well, so let's have a look. Are we going to get the C17? Cool. Check that out. Get quite a few of them here in this country. I think it was a red kite. Mm -mm. How we doing ladies, shents and teddy bears? Ginger Bailey, how's it going man? Thank you for that. Very kind of you, thank you.
943 watching. Thank you and welcome to the Ted Connorsby channel. Right, let's have a look. Ted, should we, uh, should we get on the show, mate? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's have a look how we're going to do this. Right, one sec. Again, we are roughing it on the ladder today. That's the way it is here. Let's see if I can sort this out. You watch, I'll probably get the A400 in a minute. <laughs> Oh, that'd be hilarious. It's happened before. It's happened before. We've done that. Um, how we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? My name's Nikos. Oh, yes. And I'm... <laughs> it did say ground movement complete, so uh, hope we're all good. Yeah! Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Hope you're enjoying the show. Just, uh, I was just going to be a little passerby and all that. You know how it is. How we doing? What's that? Oh, it was a B. God. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is, Ted Coningsby channel. We are roughing it here, but it's good. We, I do enjoy it, it is nice, especially when we get more warmer weather. I remember when we had that heat wave. Um, I think it was the farewell flight as well, bless it, of the C-130, it was incredible. Um, it was so hot, it was really, in fact, the runway was closed for uh, throughout the whole day for the, um, because of the, the the melting of the runway because it melts here apparently um, <laughs> amazing they haven't upgraded it yet I think they are planning to don't know much about that but uh, yeah all good but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that so far it's uh, what what we got it's just gone 11 o'clock here in the UK 11 a.m. and uh, let's hope for some more movement it's been alright it's been alright it's good it's good to see the Voyager it's good to see the A400 nice punch got a punchy feel to them and it the big heavies and that so yeah all is good uh, don't forget to support us hit the like and do subscribe to the channel I am conscious there's gonna be like a c17 just go but uh, <laughs> oh pretty cool hey eh? right let's have a look Ted how are we doing we got some guards marches to do Ted and I let's uh let's fling this round so we don't hit the ground But yeah, thanks everyone that's tuned in. It's it's always a challenge, but I actually enjoy it. I, I really do. Honestly, I love this spot. It, it's something about it. I don't know why. It's just a bit peaceful. Lovely, lovely. When I park my car, really nice, lovely people. Lovely. You know, always asking how I'm doing and how my morning's been and that. Really nice. Ted fans there now. I remember, never no, forget that lady. I didn't catch her name, but she was like, she popped around the, while I was like loading the van. She was like, she scared, she scared the hell out of me though, bless her. But, uh, it's fine, it's not a problem. She goes, oh, oh, I've come to see Ted. I'm like, this was at seven in the morning. It was amazing, it was so funny, it was really cool. I was like, yeah, sure, he's here. Oh, <laughs> bless him. Right, guards march time coming up. Ginger Bailey, thank you very much for the super sticker. Thank you, guards march. We've just been a bit careful because the ground is muddy and the last thing I need is a muddy beret. Thank you very much, Ginger Bailey. Uh, Andy Disney Wales guy, welcome to the TCS Posh Officers Club. Thank you very much. Guards March for you, man. Thanks so much for that. Thanks for the super, uh, um, thanks for joining the TCS Posh Officers Club. Thank you. I nearly said super chat there. Thanks a lot. And if you are feeling generous, and uh, treat us to a super chat or gift the membership and treat someone else then uh, we'll give you a guards march uh, and a shout out with that as well thank you very much everyone don't forget to hit the like button these are Ted's just ordering everyone to hit the like button come on let's go See what else we're going to get here now. Yeah, flight flight radar is pretty good with that. With um, showing you what's on the ground there now. That's that I find that pretty good, pretty accurate. What we got on the ground there now? We got anything on the ground there now? <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Does anyone has anyone else got regiitis? Because I am. This, everything's there now.
all right let me just check the uh light radar come on there now right I'll be right back just gonna go and grab a quick bite So just the A400 on the ground pinging at the moment on both ADSB and uh, flight radar. Let's have a little look here now. Let's have a little chat then. Uh, see what's going on. <laughs> You know, when I was doing weddings, I had no idea about this place because, um, and, I, and the reason why I mentioned that is because it's not actually far from the, is it Cotswold Water Park? It's very close to that. I was doing so many, I've done so many weddings uh, near here as well, um, uh, and especially around Swindon. Um, loads and loads of weddings around Swindon, Stonehouse, Gloucester, Cheltenham, Tewkesbury. I was doing so many weddings here. It was, un, it was, it was unreal. And I never knew about all this. Obviously, Ted came along and changed everything. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the uh, little bit of history for you. Construction began here in 1935, with the official opening taking place on the 13th of August, uh, 1937. It was originally going to be um, named RAF Carterton. That was its original name. A bit like RAF... Uh, Harrow Beer uh, was going to be named Yelverton, but it was too close to Yeovilton, so they changed it. But uh, given its proximity and relationship with the town of the same name, um, it was instead named to RAF Bryce Norton to avoid the possible confusion of RAF Cardington. And that was in Bedfordshire. First unit was a, uh, a flying training school, number two. That's two FTS. They transferred from Digby. And... Uh, Number two, flying trainer school was joined by number six, maintenance unit as well. So you'll find there was lots of uh, flying training schools here and gliders, you'll see. Um, one of the first operational squadrons to use the airfield was the detachment at number 110 squadron. And uh, they operated here from uh, June 1939 with the Bristol Blenheim uh, Marks 1 and 4 for those interested. Uh, number two, training... Uh, School, uh, the service flying training school was also um, re equipped with the Airspeed Oxford. If you've never seen one of those, or an Airspeed Horser as well, check them out. They're the heavy glider conversion unit. I didn't even know they existed until I uh, came across some of the history. Um, really, really amazing. Uh, number 16, service training school, 
uh, equipped with the North American Harvard. They moved to Bryce Norton in June 1940. Uh, on the 16th of August, the airfield was attacked by the uh, uh, Luftwaffe bombers with 35 Oxfords and 11 Hawker Hurricanes destroyed. Uh, so it has had a, uh, an attack during World War II. Number 110 Squadron Detachment left Bryce Norton on the 17th of March 1942 when the squadron departed for Asia. The two flying training units left on the 16th of July 1942 to make way for a new heavy glider conversion unit. Like I said, never heard of any, uh, never heard of that before until I came across the history. And uh, they had uh, the Whitley glider tugs and airspeed horser glider. Have a look at the uh, horser glider. It's it's not what you think. It's amazing. Uh, 296 Squadron and 297 Squadron both moved here on the 14th of March 1944 and they came here with Armstrong uh, Whitworth Albemarle's 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 no idea how to pronounce that but there you go uh, displacing the uh, heavy glider conversion unit which moved to RF Luffenham the two squadrons took part in the invasion of France, 6th of June 1944, and uh, Operation Market Garden in September 1944. Uh, 296 Squadron added, uh, before they added the Handley Page Halifax to their inventory, uh, and uh, moved to RAF Earls Colne on the 29th of September 1944. 297 Squadron also moved there three days, uh, a few days later, a day later, sorry. So lots of World War II facts here. Um, so quite interactive with World War II. Never knew about the heavy gliding conversion unit. The heavy glider conversion unit uh, was renamed to number 21 HGCU, returned on the 15th of October 1944, remaining at Bryce Norton until the uh, New Year's Eve uh, 1945. The Transport Command Development Unit, TCDU, they moved here during 1946, operating a variety of equipment until it departed in June 1949. So. 297 Squadron, they returned after the Second World War ended and on the 5th of September 1946 with the Halifax Mark A7 and A9s from RAF Tarrant Rashton uh, before leaving on the 21st of August 1947 from RAF Fairford. Um, after the TCDU left in June 1949, number 2 Squadron of the Central Flying School equipped with the Harvard moved in, followed by number 204 Advanced Flying Training School equipped with the De Havilland Mosquito. Uh, staying at Bryce Norton until March and June 1950, respectively. Here we go. Look at this. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> what was that? Does anyone know what that was? Morning, how you doing? I have no idea what that was. That was cool.
Oh, it's still in the circuit. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can catch up with it. My phone's going crazy, so it's obviously something important. saying it's the Falcons or the aircraft where the Falcons hang out <laughs> cool was not expecting that Morning, all right. Is it busy? No, it's getting there now. It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there, which is good. <laughs> Come here, little man. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, dear. Careful, you daft dog. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on that. Like I said, there's always uh, surprises here at RF Bryce Norton. Just never know what's going to happen. So yeah, after the war, um, there was a temporary use by the United States Air Force as well, which we'll talk about in a moment. It's our sky van. Look at it. Look at it there now.
<laughs> Pretty cool little aircraft. I do love it. It's well good. Great little sound for a van, isn't it? There we go. Right, what else is going on? Always a fun day here at Bryce. Right, let's see what else. So it looks like food equals aircraft. Hang on. Oh yeah, I've got chocolate. Yes. Oh, look at this. Look what I've got, man. Guess what I've got. Check this out, man. I to you, have you ever done that? Have you ever bought something and you totally forgot you had it? And it's almost like a, a Brucey bonus. Do you know what I mean? Look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh. oh, I'm gonna get me some of this. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna have that. I'm getting in, Ted. I am getting in. I don't even eat stuff like that. You ask Claire Bear. I don't eat. I don't eat uh, sweets and stuff at all. Although I do do like to have like free sugars in my tea or coffee. Uh, always savoury, even on like work Christmas parties. Dessert was always a bowl of chips. I oh, know, honestly, or a burger. I'll just have another burger. I used to have. <laughs> and I just fancy some some Terry's chocolate orange from Fries Norden. I've got to get in. I've got to get in, man. Yeah. Oh, I've got to have some of this. Hmm. <laughs> That totally tastes like chemicals, man. Oh. <laughs> man, I don't think that Joe's chocolate orange has ever seen an orange.
How are we doing, ladies and Teddy Bears, hope we're good. Ted Collingsby Channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton. Ba -da -ba. Oh, Darren Pierce, hope you're good, man. Sorry to hear about that. Oh, bless you. Darren Pierce, hope you're alright man. In memory of my lovely wife who passed away 14 years today. Nikos, Tad, Crew and Coningsby family, thank you for bringing a smile to my face. Bless you man. Guards March and in memory, Darren Pierce. Sorry to hear about that, man. Guards March for Darren Pierce, thank you. Thanks a lot, Darren. And I hope you're good, man. There's a little bear hug as well, man. So hopefully we get a, I mean, it's only what? Just gone at 11.30, so it's not too bad, to be honest. Pretty cool. You know, at the end of the day, it's a different pace, but it can get lively here, trust me. And we can start getting aircraft starting to do a lot of approaches and circuits. Expect the unexpected at Bryce. What's that up there, Ted? Oh, the people coming out of it, man. Look at this! Who's watching this man? Look at this!
is the uh, RAF Falcons parachute display team, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Check that out, man. <laughs> I literally just said expect the unexpected. Oh, hello. Well, that was incredible. <laughs> well, get that one on the Bryce bingo then. <laughs> Goodness me, I've never seen that before here. I've seen them before, the Falcons, but not practicing. Caught me, nearly caught me, caught me, uh, caught me by surprise as well. I just started seeing people jumping out of a plane. I was like, what? Anyway, th th this is their home, so... Pretty sure there's an aircraft somewhere.
<laughs> oh dear. Goodness me. Well, there you go. A nice little surprise, that, wasn't it? Eh? <laughs> That's got to be bingo. <laughs> yeah, we just need the... Oh, man, that was... Uh... They come to the rescue team. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Quick drop Friday, I know. That was, uh, that was, <laughs> honestly, I, I, uh, I, this place, this, this Prize Norton just, Matt Foster's going to give you his little uh, fun fact about this if he's watching. Matt, go on. He'll tell you about the uh, the lights there. Come on, Matt. You can do it. Go on, Matt. The lights on the side of that uh, fire and rescue vehicle indicate how much water's in there. 1K likes as well. <laughs> what a place to do it on... I literally just said, expect the unexpected. And then I was like, like a complete novice. Oh, there's people coming out of that plane. <laughs> oh dear. I know it's their home and that, but I never knew about this. <laughs> nice one. Thanks, fan of flight. They let me know about the thousand likes as well. That was incredible. That was cool, man. I'm the only one here. <laughs> and Ted, obviously, and all the bears. I think Reg, um, well that means Reggie was probably in, uh, and probably Ginger as well, because I know Ginger likes to parachute a lot. Um, but, I'll, but we'll have to speak to Julian about that. Well, there you go. That's probably why nothing was flying just then. So, oh. I'm telling you, man, every time I open a piece of food, something happens. <laughs> nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm on 6.70, over. Right, what else More is going to happen there now? I mean, it was so quiet, I could have missed that, but I literally just said, oh, expect the unexpected. I heard, I thought it was something like a, I don't know, an A400 flying past or something. And then there we go. Better open up something else now to eat. See if I can get something else, innit? Just needed the, some of the funky music to go with it. So that was the Royal Air Force's parachute display team. 
and they're called the Falcons. Pretty cool, man. I mean, I'm on their website now. Can't find any info on, you know, as in who, what the team is this year. Pretty cool. I've seen them at Cosford. They were pretty cool. Had a good photo with Ted. I did try to get in contact with them to get Ted a, a parachute jump, but it didn't quite go ahead. So if they're, if they're listening, I'm here. Um, Ted's here, ready if you want to go up again. Carry on there now. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Here he is now. Ewee! You're right there now. Just uh, jumped out of that aircraft. Hope you see me there now. Hope you enjoyed that there now. Yeah, it was just uh, was given a an honour and a privilege to uh, jump out of that plane there now at Dornier. I love it. That's what I like doing. See, I don't really like these, you know, I like these pretty little planes and that flying around there now, but Myself there now as a regiment, we love to jump out of them rather than fly them and look after the ground that they're on. That's what the two regiment do here, there and now. That's what we do round here. We look after the airfield. Yeah, that's right, part of the RAF regiment. That's what I do. And that's right, if you like jumping out of planes and looking after stuff, you can join the regiment just like me there now. That's what we do. Paris, parachute there now. It's all good round here. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. So, oh, look out for the uh, the Falcon display team, parachute display team. They were now with the Royal Air Force there now. That's how I do it around here now. Looking around, right. Gonna go and catch some chicken. I'm gonna go and eat me some chicken down in town there now. Bryce Norton's got some good scofferies. That's right, that's what I call them. Scofferies. They're good places to scoff. Scoff food, innit? There now. Some nice chicken joints around here. Yeah, it's all good around there now. All right, behave yourself. And you see that red tip fellow? You gotta let me know there now. You gotta shout Reggie. I want a word of him. That's right there now. There he goes. He's always like, uh, he's always said about jumping out of planes. That's his thing, really. Yeah, quick drop Friday that was. Oh, what else is gonna? Well, what else we're we gonna get here? Have people jumping out of planes and that there now. Let's check the old tracker there now. Is that a start up? Can you hear that? You can probably hear it better on the mic. Crash 3, position crash 3 across the runway from Kilo to Charlie. Uh, Kilo to Bravo, please. Nice tower crash runway, Kilo, Bravo on the green, the support vacated. Right tower crash 3, crash 3 across the runway from Kilo to Bravo on the green, the report went vacated.
<laughs> I need to bring chocolate every day. Elizabeth Leiborn. Or oh, Leiborn, sorry. Elizabeth Leiborn. Thank you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, you how's it going? Johnny B, Christopher Carr, what's going on? Roger Payne, James Beatwell, oi oi! Pretty cool, man. Now then, is it me or is that a startup? Definitely something running down there, isn't it? No, no. Boxy, good morning to you. It's flown out of here many times. Nice, it is a nice place. Yeah, so Red Devils up there, that's the British Army. That's the British Army display team, the Red Devils, isn't it? And then you've got the Falcons, who are the uh, Royal Air Force's parachute display team. If I, if I remember correctly, if I did my homework. Yeah, it's been a great day, Josh. Been really good. Really good day. Especially seeing the Falcon display team just there. That was pretty awesome. Is it the sky van? Something's running down there, don't know. How you doing ladies, gents and teddy bears? Ted Coningsby channel, live at Bry's. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, how's, how's, uh, so we've hit 44.6, that is amazing. I'm so proud of everyone, thank you for that. Might even get 44.7 at this rate. Come on. Sounds like a sky van. I'm getting used to the sky vans now. <laughs> I love if it was an A400. Hang on. Well, Ted Connick's big channel, you know it is. You, you know it is. Place to start your weekend, the prelude to your weekend. That's what we like to say.
Well, it does appear to, <laughs> it does appear to be an A400 taxi in Mimic 55. That ain't no sky van. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just gone along with it. Here we go. Right, ladies, gents, teddy bears, more he uh, big iron action. Now, uh, one thing to note is uh, look out for the uh, contra turning um, <clears throat> propellers of the A400. They're amazing. It's called contra rotating blades. So the inner ones turn inwards and the outer propellers turn outwards. Right, let's get this ready. Ha 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 ha, got ya! cool little thing in it hey eh? right a400 where are you <laughs> there is generally an a400 taxi out I swear honest I'm worried I'm going to miss the A400. Uh, we'll hear the call right now, it's probably on the alpha. Alpha, Charlie,
About to skim those trees, right? Oh yeah! All right, two A400s and a Voyager, and our favourite Sky Van. Just need the C17 now to complete everything. It's all coming together nicely now. That uh, parachute display was just a complete bonus, wasn't it? Mimic 5.5 five. I might just have some more chocolate then because it seems to be the way <laughs> I did say every time munch something something goes on what is going on thank you thanks Davey for that got to get the old checks in there and out How's it all going? I'm all good, Joshua Brown, how's it going? Davey, Pan65, what's up? Meth, Christine Barnes. <laughs> Elizabeth LeBourne, Nikos, can you imagine if we all sent you chocolate? Could you eat a thousand bars a day? Probably not, but I'll be certainly a little bit hyperactive. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> now you leave my rustling alone there no <laughs> well I'm not sure where Mimic 5.5 is going but uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at the other two Blenheim and Tartan what are Blenheim and Tartan doing no they're uh
Hope we're all good, Lady Shenzha Teddy Bears. Oh, what a day it's been. Been pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, that was the unexpected the uh, RAF Falcons parachute display team. That was really awesome, that. Really, I was not expecting that. It was quite funny because I was just uh, looking at this aircraft. I was like, people are jumping out of that. <laughs> there you go. Ted bringing the luck. Ted bringing the parachute display team. That was really cool. Don't know if you noticed, but uh, you'll notice the hedges. <laughs> that had a bit of a trim, man. That's proper good now, isn't it? But it's a bit breezy now. That's the thing. <laughs> It was uh, so it swings and roundabouts as they say. It's uh, it's got better view, but uh, it's now a bit breezier. Anyway, all is good. Let's see what else we're gonna get. Right, time to get some grub. Right, what else have we got in my pack of goodies? Uh, what the? Have I missed something else as well? Look, look at this. Look, look what I'm missing. I'm about to open up another pie. to open up a packet of steak and cheese pie doesn't that sound good steak and cheese pie man that's mean <laughs> this is hilarious oh yes this is well got loads of right Oh yeah, cheese, steak and cheese pie, man. Isn't that a New Zealand thing? Uh, what's your recycle? I think steak and cheese pie is like a New Zealand thing, isn't it?
Oh, not in Africa. Yeah. Man, this this pie tastes good, man. Mm. That is a mean steak and cheese pie. That's got finesse. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm -mm. Just got to look out in the sky now for people jumping out of planes, innit? James Beatwell, thanks man. Guards March is coming up after my uh, quick drink. Hang on. Yeah. Well, I can hear that bird of prey, innit? Right, how are we all doing, ladies, gents, teddy bears? It's um, been a good one, isn't it? That's, that's my working conditions today. Not too bad, not too bad. I've had worse, I think, have I? Have I had worse? Uh, well, maybe. But uh, anyway. Just gonna get our squadron leader out ready. Man, that was a good steak and cheese pie, man. Mm-mm. James Beatwell, thank you very much, man. Right, well, just gonna get Ted quickly. Got some guards march time. Ted, there he is, the man of the, the bear of the hour, isn't it? Right, we've got. Uh, let's have a look. We've got uh, NU. Oh, I guess is that Man United Football Club? Is it Bad Baddy? MUFC Bad Baddy. MUFC Baddy. Cool content. Thanks. Thank you very much, Guards March. Thank you for the super chat. Dee -dee -dee. Thanks so much because it really does help. It puts fuel in the van, man. Keeps us going, keeps us running. Oh yes, keeps the show going. That's right. LC member for seven months. Thank you very much for your seven month service, LC. Thanks Falcons, what a way to celebrate. Guards March for you, thank you for seven month membership. Thanks for that, thank you honestly for all those with milestones. Thank you very much for uh, 
for your continued service and supporting the channel through our membership. Thank you. James Wick Beatwell um, for the uh, Falcons, who's put lots of uh, parachutes and put fantastic. Thank you so much for your super chat. Thanks for the super thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Again, it really does help the channel. It put funds and turns it into fuel for the van. Really does. Thank you. We nearly cancelled today, didn't we, Ted? What's that? Always stick to the plan. So Ted, Ted's advice for anyone is to always... What was that? Always stick to the plan. Never change it. You'll regret it if you do. Always something happens, isn't it, Ted? I know. It's good. Really good advice, Ted. Thanks, mate. What's that you can hear? I don't know. He's got amazing hearing, that bear. Oh yeah, we've got a thousand likes as well. So we've hit a thousand likes on every stream, which is which is great. Always worrying, you know, when it gets a bit slow, like oh oh. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, right. What we got left to see then? So just be nice to see a C17. That's we've only seen it taxi. Had some sort of movement. Haven't seen one today. Be nice if we did, but uh, never mind. We did get to see the Falcons, and I must admit that that that's that's impressive. That's quite rare to see that here. I guess I've never seen it of all the times I've been here. Let up. Thanks, Mef, for the fuel fund on your trip to Bryce. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, thanks, Mef. I'll just get you guys much, actually. Well, we're doing them. Thank you. Honestly, all those that are just, you know, doesn't matter how much it is. It's just really, really appreciate it. All adds up. And, uh, you know, it was a good two and a bit hour drive to get here. And obviously, you know, it was good. I don't mind the drive here, it's quite a nice drive. We go a little Ted route. No, I call them Ted routes. Um, Meth, thank you, Guards March. Thank you. So Ted's gonna guide us. Uh, thank you for that, Meth, thank you. Uh, so we, Ted's gonna guide us home today. Oh, we love going the Ted route, don't we, Ted? I know, the, the roads are tiny, but there's never any traffic, is there? I know, because we like to take our time. We don't mind, we never rush anywhere. Ted can hear something, his hearing is so good, so sensitive. Really good, good, good day today. Really, really good, especially with the uh, with the Falcons. So we've had a four hundred, two a four hundreds, and a Voyager, Sky Vans, and a Dornier, and a couple of Pipers. Not bad, is it? Keeps it, keeps it entertaining. So yeah, we we spoke about World War Two and just literally just after World War Two, but uh, by 1950, elements of the United States uh, Air Forces Strategic Air Command (SACs) were based at RAF Lake Neef, uh, RAF Marham, and RAF Skullthorpe during the 50s, and the increasing tension of the Cold War uh, led to a re-evaluation of these deployments. Uh, by 1953, SAC bombers began to 
move further west behind fighter forces to Bryce Norton. Um, also RAF Greenham Common and RAF Upper Hayford and RAF Fairford. And as with other stations it occupied, SAC invested heavily in extending the runway uh, from 6,000 to 9,000 feet. Uh, taxiways and dis dispersals were also... There's the Dornier again. <laughs> I'm just like... Not Dornier, sorry, the Piper strikes again. <laughs> oh dear. So work was completed in 1951, by the way. Just thought I'd let that you know. Uh, command of the station was transferred from the US Air Forces in Europe to SAC, 8th of uh, December 1952. And it was the 30th Air Depot Wing, Depot Wing, uh, became the third Air Force unit responsible for control of uh, all personnel at Bryce Norton. Upon receipt of the instructions to control base, the, uh, base functions, the station was assigned to the 7th Air Division and operated by the, uh, the 3920th Air Base Group, which was renamed as the 3920th Combat Support Group and then the 3920th Strategic Win in 1964. Um, the 3920th uh, ultimately seized operations in 1965. The first uh, major US Air Force deployment was that of the 21 Convair B-36 Peacemaker Strategic Bombers of the 11th Bomb Wing for eight days uh, in June 1952. Boeing B uh, 29 Super Fortresses and KB-29 air-to-air -air tankers of the 301st Bombardment Wing uh, were based here at RF Bryce Norton on a temporary duty from December 1952 uh, to April 1953. And as we mentioned about the B-47 Stratojets, I love that aircraft. I'd love to see one. I don't think I've ever seen one, but I've seen pictures of it and it just looks like something I'd really want to go and see. Um, and videos as well, they are something else. Uh, 1953 units equipped with the B, uh, B-47 Stratojets, six engine bombers, began to be deployed to Bryce Norton on 90 day temporary deployments. Uh, with boom equipped Boeing KC 97G Strato freighters. Uh, they were also deployed in support from December 1954. And I've got a funny feeling the 351st were here as well, um, part of the 100th Bomb Group legacy. I'm pretty sure they were here. Um, I've just got a funny feeling they were part of it because they had, I remember cross referencing that, and uh, they too had the B 47E Strato jets. Again, it was temporary. 1958, the B-47 deployments changed from 90-day temporary deployments to 30-day uh, reflex alerts in which the aircraft did little flying. And I think that was where the 351st then were inactivated. They were still in readiness uh, in 64 of September. The US Air Force announced the, uh, that the reflex operations would cease and that Bryce Norton would be returned to the Royal Air Force. And back it was. Mm -mm -mm. Right, I managed to get you that bit of history there for you, don't know. Short Belfasts, BC 10s, all that was here after that time as well. Just to give you a, the base was returned to the Royal Air Force after that in 64. Yeah, VC-10s were once dominant here at one point. OK, 
Come on, fries. Come on, let's have some more. It's been great. It was good to see the uh, parachute display team of the Royal Air Force, the Falcons. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So we've got Blenheim, oh we've got, what's that? Oh yeah, Mimic 55, where's Mimic 55? Not too far from here. But uh, the ones previous, um, Blenheim 31 is above Norwich, and uh, Tartan 59 is in that sort of 323 area, that air, air to air refueling area. So those are hopefully expected to return unless they're going somewhere else we don't know can't remember when we ted and i first on our first visit i think or our first couple of visits i remember we saw that uh the awax the e3 but that but was still part of the royal air force at the time god I remember that i think it was some of their last flights it could have been could have been the last couple of flights, I think, of the uh, AWACS. <laughs> Thanks, White Wizard, for your comments. I could see that on my watch. Thank you. I'll. Uh get back to you on that thanks I, I know a lot of you enjoy the history the history of um history of the base because it is interesting it's it's not like we've turned it into a completely different type of aviation experience you know let me just uh, let me just go for it and i'll hello <laughs> you know i don't know if that's going to be a bit too close there now yeah it's you know at the end of the day we could just we could just stream this place, you know? We can just stream military bases and go, yeah, there you go, there's there's that C-17, or there's an A-400, or there's the C-17, but we've turned this channel into educational. It's turned into it like an edu educational channel as well. You know, it's, um, it's oh, you know, it, we, we, I mean, don't, don't you want to know what happened here? Don't you want to know how things changed and why these particular aircraft are here and what was here before and what was there and what was here? There will be uh, um, um, like a, a not like a parallel. They, they will entwine. You know, like we said, the 351st were here at some point, and we were talking about them at Mildenhall. We've got the history from Fairford while they're extending. It's it's all entwined into what we have today. It's amazing. Really is cool. Really is amazing. And so the channel is educational, fun stream the present and respect and remember the past that is that is the key with a bit of fun as well thrown in to get the kids involved the 65 year old kids you know <laughs> just kidding you know what i mean we've all got a kid inside us you know what i mean we've all got like that inner childhood but that is what makes this channel unique fun let's have a good time it's not always about it's oh is it busy or it's not it's like it could be busy it could be not turn up enjoy the history have a look at that dakota over there enjoy let's learn about the tales while we're here of the difference between the c17 and the a400 let's have a little bit of knowledge about let's uh because talk about the runway numbers maybe people don't know good this will be a good example because we're almost uh we're okay we're not we're not like right on the approach here but uh, it's just over there but uh but yeah it's all good it's all good educate communicate and have a good time and eat some cake <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> oh yeah, right. God, it's a bit dif difficult on here. But I'll get by. I'll get through this. It's all good. Woo, yeah. Tell you what, there's a nice pub on the way home. <laughs> Not like that, because obviously I'm driving. I meant the food. The nice country pub with some lovely food on the way home. Oh, I've been meaning to go to that Lamb Inn. Might have to go. Might. 
Reminds me of a song by uh, Roger Miller. I ain't coming home tonight. <laughs> and anyway. Let's have a little nose down there, see what's going on down there, no. Oh dear. Thanks, Dad. Watching the Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Rise Norton. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Not been a bad day, has it? I mean, the highlight has got to be the uh, parachute display team, isn't it? That was uh, incredible. Just missing the uh, C-17. And that will complete it, really, wouldn't it? That's pretty much everything, isn't it? How are we doing, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears? Thanks, Perry. So it looks like the Tartan, uh, looks like Tartan 59, the call side of the uh, Voyager, is now leaving the uh, 323 area or the uh, air refueling area. Mimic is just south of us at the moment. Stayed there at the moment. 
Uh, Blenheim 3 1 is still sort of out by Holt and Sheringham, Cromer sort of area. Appreciate all your uh, little info messages that you send me. Thank you very much. Robert Brassel, happy Friday to you. Oi, oi. Nick Ward, how's it going? Phil Boardman. Thanks a lot. Claire Bear, how's it going? Alex Black Cat, hope you're good. Mike Weaver, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Love listening to you telling us the history of all the bases and the aircraft. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. MC Mark, how you doing? Watching from Denmark. Hope you're good. James Boyle shorts. Oi, oi. Logan Brazil, oi oi, Davey, Ellie J, Gerd, you right man? Oi oi, yeah. Ghost Rider, oi oi, Alex Blackcat, oi oi. Let's get the Teds out, come on. And don't forget to sub support the channel by subscribing and marry it up, ladies and teddy bears, with the notification bell button. Give the notification bell button a touch and go. You've been cleared to do so. Because that'll keep you notified of our latest and greatest live streams and videos. Oh yeah, let's ride. We got C Torino. Nick Ocelo from Connecticut, USA. Thanks for the history. What up? Let's ride and guns up to you. Oi oi to Connecticut. Oi oi to C Torino. How's it going? Hope you're good. Uncle Plane Guy and Sam Mark. Atria 1. Jonathan McD. What's going on? Colin Booth. What up? Nick Ward. Thanks a lot. Good. Perry, Perez, Matt Man Bush, thank you. Jonathan McD, thanks for getting all the Teds out. Susan Kelly, thanks for getting the Teds out. Adam Verrill, thank you. Darren Harwood, Sharky, thank you. Argan, thanks a lot, man. Katie Weber, David Finch, Davey, nice one. Babsar, thank you for getting the Teds out. Katie Weber getting, look at this, and emojis and Scorcher. Argan <laughs> getting Nikos out. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, let's get everything out in eh? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Simon 7PA. You're simply a legend and uh, we all appreciate everything you do for us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's the Ted Coningsby channel, isn't it? That's how we do it. Let's do it a little bit different, I mean, there now.
blue sky. Yeah. Cool, wasn't it? Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da 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 -da.
got another A400 pinging on the ground. Good news for us. That's uh, Zulu Mike 407, or 407. So yeah, hopefully more movement for you ladies, Shanta Teddy Bears from the heavies. How you doing ladies, gents, teddy bears? Hope we're all good and feeling well. You're watching the Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton. And uh, hopefully we will get some more big iron very shortly. There's one on ADSB or flight radar, whichever you choose on the ground pinging. So that's usually a good sign. Stu Martin, how's it going? Did someone said part hey? No, not yet. It's coming. And I hope you've got your tickets. Is there any, what, what did we say about 38 left? Right. Which are going out on sale, the, the remainder on our social media on the beginning of the month. So uh, if you haven't done so already, members, uh, you better get them. Come on. Paul Murphy, I hope you have a good uh, birthday on Sunday. Thanks a lot, Colin Perry. Colin Perry, thank you. New to the channel, love the shows you do. Thanks, keep it up, keep up the good work. And hi, Ted, thank you. Oh, sharp from Sean Bean. Yeah, how could you? I like Sean Bean, legend.
Thanks a lot, Tracy Dutton. I hope you get better. <laughs> yep, it's the world's longest stretch to Atlas with uh, two tails, two stabilizers. <laughs> That's a pretty cool light, doesn't it? Right, let's have a look at this ZM407. What's it doing? Is it going? What are you doing? There's, a, there's our uh, workspace for the day. That's our uh, working environment for the day. Right, let me just sort this screen out quickly while I've turned that round. Yeah, I mean, if we get a C17, that'll be awesome, wouldn't it? That'll complete the day, that'll be bingo. We've had some good times though here, haven't we? I don't think we've ever had a bad day here. I think there was one that was like pretty quiet. I think it just had the five, five movements. But other than that, we've it's always been pretty, pretty good here, you know. And you know, today with the uh, the Falcons, been great, isn't it? Right, let me just clean this screen a little bit. Dee -dee -dee. Right, that's all sorted. Of thing. Right. Oh, the sun's coming, the current bun's coming out, man. It's amazing. So who we got here? Someone called Julie UK, a member Julie UK has asked her, uh, who's put at, uh, Hi, hello, Ted Coningsby. Would you please do a guards march for my mum and dad? Well, probably your oldest fans. Michael and Jones combined ages, total almost 190. Thanks, Ted. Have a great day, everyone. Michael and Joan, Ted fans, I Cool, guards march for our oldest combined. Where's Ted? Ted, oh, he's just eating his salmon angle. Just finishing that salmon there now. Ted, how you doing, mate? You good? God, what do you think of that, Ted? 190 combined. That's brilliant, isn't it? Guards march. It's a little bit restrictive. The guards march today. Thank you very much, Julie UK, for sending that in. Thank you very much. Ba -da -ba -da -ba.
<laughs> oh yeah, lady sheds and teddy bears, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel membership. I'm Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members. Guns up and oh yeah. Take it away, Ted. Lady sheds and teddy bears, we want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country, from as far as Lossiemouth to Bryce Norton, and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centers, and special flights for TED2. We cannot do this without your support, and your support will be rewarded. You can now join the TED Coningsby Squadron and help fund the channel to get us around the country and provide us with the funds for equipment to bring you better content too. We have three exciting membership levels with awesome YouTube perks to reward you back for your support. Our first level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Squadron. You'll get a loyalty badge on YouTube, unique TCS emojis that you can use on comments and live streams, members only videos which include behind the scenes, deleted scenes, sneak previews and also music videos that Ted likes to play the electric guitar on. You'll also get access to members only Discord server and discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All of this for just $1.99 a month. Oh yeah. Our second level of membership is the Posh Officers Club. <laughs> this includes all of the squadron perks, private Posh Officers Discord chat room, Posh Officers discounts on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise, and the poshness of supporting the TCS even more. This is just £4.99 a month. Our third level was inspired by many of our fans who have been supporting the channel massively. So we'd love to reward you back with this and our third level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron. This gives you a more personal experience with me and Ted with exclusive live streams and content. You'll get a free Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron patch, a private Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron Discord chat room, a gold color Discord username, and a higher discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All this for just $25.99 a month. Lady Shents and Teddy Bears, the Ted Coningsby channel cannot thank you enough for all your support. And it's this support that keeps the dream, keeps the stream. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, gear. Yeah. Five nine should be back very shortly. Should be able to see her in a bit. back now. Try and spot it. G Van Palima, how you doing? Paul Freeman, how's it going? Tartan 59, yep, just uh, very close by now. Okay, point Charlie, here we go, come on. So that'll be to our left. Just 
excellent. Come on. Five nine Voyager, the largest Royal Air Force aircraft in its fleet. Here we go. 
Well, the gear's still up. Oh, here they come. Gear down. Oh, I love that. I love that we I love that it just sinks and disappears. Beautiful.
cool. <laughs> That's the uh, Voyager A330 of the Royal Air Force, call sign Tartan 59. Meanwhile, look at this. Oh, you thought you'd get away from me, eh? Beautiful. Let's see what else we got. How are we doing ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby channel, live here at RAF Bryce Norton, home of the heavyweights and a few other surprises as well. Um, but uh, so I think there's just two A400s out that we think are coming back. That's uh, Blenheim and Mimic. Where are they? And Blenheim ain't coming home anytime soon yet.
<laughs> All is good. Right, let's see. I'm not sure when our next movement is. Seven Air Dispatch Memorial over there with the Dakota. Nice tribute. Nice memorial. Not a bad view though. I was just looking like at the windows that you know, just like oh, yeah. Not a bad view, is it? Pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a nice peaceful base, isn't it? Nice mix of heavyweights and surprises. That's what you get here. And uh, nice to see people playing the prize bingo. Like it. Just C17, really, isn't it? We've had the flying club with the Piper. We've had the A400, Voyager. The Falcon display team. A400s, Voyager, yeah, we've done that. Uh, the Sky Van, so it's just the C17, I think. I suppose you could add low approach from a, a different base. Yep, yeah, we haven't had that today. Yeah, we haven't had a low approach from somewhere out, like, you know, like a Typhoon or an Apache or a Chinook or SAS, <laughs> which we've had before. Amazing.
How we doing ladies and steady bears? Well, I'm probably gonna have a little quiet period I think at the moment, but uh, we'll see. That another departure. So it's got a call sign now, Comet 456, that A400, which is pretty cool. That's good. It's got a call sign now, which is uh, pretty awesome. So let's hope for that to go up shortly. Good. You can have a quick bite. 
ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, I'll be with you shortly. Um, just going to do some swapping over some batteries, uh, but I'll uh, make sure I ain't going to miss anything as well. <laughs> I could have it like that in case. Right, catch you in a bit. <laughs> drink oh the sun's out as well nice lovely Okay, Mimic 5.5, five. <laughs> that was a very short lived break, see every time I try and eat something happens right, right it's joining downwind so just behind me to the to my right, yeah Nice, nice turn, beautiful, hang on. Let me go this side of it. Ugh. Downwind full stop. That's not what we want to hear, but, oh well. That distinctive two-tone sound of the A400M Atlas. Yeah, it's requested a full stop, which is, uh, no worries.
clear to land. Beautiful, and they do come to a full stop very quickly. It's a shame we haven't had any um, circuits from the heavies yet. See that? I'll go for another break and I'll get another aircraft for you. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> they are a fantastic aircraft. They, they hardly need any runway as well. They're very impressive. They can land on sand as well, isn't it? That's Mimic 55 back, safe. Taxi back to the main. So just keep an, uh, an eye on Comet 456 for its departure, which will be awesome. Hope you're enjoying the show, ladies, chefs, steady bears. Don't forget to hit the like and do subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel. We are on our way to 45k now. 
Oh yeah. I know, 45k, that's that's massive. That's a great it's a great little channel that isn't it? And uh I wonder if there's anyone on here that was with us pre 1000 Is there anyone here pre 1000 I, I know the names, there's a there's there are a few that I know when I see them that were pre 1000 Goodness me, can you imagine that? But uh, but uh let's have a look. Pre 1000 anyone on here from that? Rich Taylor, how you doing? Catch up, yep, definitely. Don't forget, ladies and steady bears. You can even after the live stream, you can always go into our uh, page on YouTube, click live, and you can watch any of the uh, streams that we've got on. And they do have scenes as well that you can skip to as well. Logan Brazil started watching at five thousand. Captain A, pre 7.5. Trevor Goddard, been here since day one. This time last year, March, I'd say it was on 8,000, would you believe? 8,000 subscribers. I know, eight. Jim Turlington, good morning to you, good morning to Florida. Stephen Corley, oi oi, afternoon everyone, hope you're all good. Just checking in on lunch, nearly the weekend. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, Stu Martin, I think it was around about 8,000. Joined at 12k. <laughs> Tress by, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Hope you're good. Oi oi to you. <laughs> yeah, now we do it. So, yeah, a nice change of pace. I'm glad I stuck with it. You know, stuck to the plan, eh? That's, uh, that's what Ted's advice. Clive Bruce, how you doing? Me and Craig were with you at zero on zero six end when you hit eight thousand. Cool. I think that was February, March, wasn't it? February, March stuff. So yeah, give or take then eight nine thousand in um, in March, I would have thought. But yeah, cool man. Avro Al, you are old school. Definitely, I remember you. Yeah, you were around for a long time. <laughs> 19th of May, 15k. God, that must have jumped up quite considerably then. Oi, oi, trespass by Ronald L, how you doing? Pilot non flying, Peter, how you doing? Not a problem yet. Just just wait until we get to Lossy Mouth, man. That's a ten hour that's a ten hour drive for me. Uh pilot non flying. That's ten hours. It's about well, I don't know what that is in kilometers, I'm afraid, but it's it's a long way from Peterborough. If you do Peterborough to uh Lossy Mouth, it's a long way. Ten hours. <laughs> you don't get rid of me that easily. No, nah, not at all, man, not at all, problem. I know Michael Bruce always take time. I know he said don't never change plan stick to it uh, the only exception is if if the base suddenly closed then we have to we are forced if we're forced to change plan then that's different I mean the no Ted said from the very beginning Bryce Norton 
and we stuck with it. Nice one, Ted. That's that's Ted for you. Oh, just uh, done me in with a splinter. Will we get a C17? Come on. Keep a lookout on your flight radars for it to move. So Peterborough to Lossy Mouth, I'm going to do it. Let's have a look here now. It is a total of 502 miles. So what's that in kilometers? Eight hundred and seven. Cool. Yeah, no worries. It's, it's fine. It's part of the fun. You know, like I said, you know, I, 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 you know, I have always said this, you know, all the funds that we get go straight into that van, put the fuel in, get us a little B&B, &B, little cheap and cheerful one, get us in there and we can bring you the action. Do you know what I mean? You know, I want, you know, this is, this is the dream. I want to be able to do this for all of you and bring you the fun, bring you the education, the history. And uh, yeah, all part of the good fun. You know, how it is, you know, how it is. It's all good fun. No, I don't mind a 10 hour journey, it was good fun. You get car syndrome, but it's good fun. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Here he is, all the way from uh, from South London. Here he is. Hey, how you doing, Grand Cru Drew? Hey, how's it going? Hope you're all good, enjoying the show. Yeah, I love the Evies. Bit of different work required for these. Some of these, you know. Yeah, and they're all good. Requires a lot of thought with these. They need a bit of tender, loving care. These aircraft. That's right. Like most aircraft, really. But uh, how you all doing? My name's Grand Cru Drew. Not a lot of people know about us. That's right, Grand Crew. That's right, got Eero written on me, bird's nest. That's how I do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, not bad, not bad. The current, nice to see the current bun out. It's a little bit shy these days here in the UK, good old blighty, but you know how it is. All good fun. Yeah, meanwhile, just uh, tell you what, Bryce Norton, really good shops here, really nice. Really nice place to stay. It's a lovely part of the world, the Cotswolds, it's quite nice. That's right, it's not too far from Wiltshire. Not too far from Oxfordshire. Well, mind you, we're in Oxfordshire anyway. But Wiltshire, just down the road. Do you know what I mean? It's all good. But you've got to be careful when crossing the Frog and Toad. It can be a little bit busy with all those jam jars floating around and tin cans. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't forget, if you're watching it on the Wobbly Jelly or your Dog and Bone or your Lamb Chop, don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe to the one and only Ted Condisby channel. Yeah, it's all right around here. Look at this. Yeah, I just fancied a little rabbit and pork. Left me old BM behind. Fancy a little rabbit and pork down the alley. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, nice. Right, see you later, alligator. Take care. He's a funny guy, isn't he?
uh, for those rabbit and pork it's going for a walk hang on no it ain't is it I thought it was talk oh well maybe I got it muddled up oh well never mind <laughs> I'm actually I think rabbit and pork is talk isn't it oh dear oh well sorry about that my bad you can blame me for that How are we all doing, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears? Yeah, it's nice and chilled out. Right, let's have a look, see what wow, see what's going on. Comet 456 come on and then hopefully a C17 but I'm not too sure Woo, yeah. Right, what else we got? I'll tell you what, we do have a blue sky, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears. Look at this. A blue sky. Lovely. Oh yeah, you're Hiya. right. Good. Hello. Oh. You're staying a long time, are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm camping out. <laughs> oh, anything fun coming in today? Um. Well, we had the Falcons parachute display early. Oh, wow. That was. That, I didn't even know. I was like, okay. hang on, there's people jumping out the plane. <laughs> wow. But uh, it was the Falcons. I realised. Yeah. I need to know why you've got teddy bears. I'm sorry, but I need to know. They are part of the part of the. They're the characters. Of what? My channel. Oh, I see. Oh, right. You're doing yeah. something serious. I thought you just stood there photographing airplanes. Come here. There is that. I thought that's what all you were doing. <laughs> you no, they, no, they're, they're, they're the uh, they're the actors. Oh, I they're see. The actors what do you the do show. then? Well, they come to life on the show. What's that? I don't know what the show is. Tell uh, me about Ted it. Ted Coningsby. Yeah, I don't know. So. 
Yeah, if you go on YouTube on Ted Coningsby, you'll see them come to life and uh, make the aircraft sort of educational and historical and they talk about it and inspires children, whether they're three or oh, 93 right, years old. You yeah, know, yeah. Let's get some inspired and then, uh, yeah, make it a bit fun as well at the same time. Oh, oh I never heard of it. Yeah, so Ted and then Coningsby is in the base. All right. We go around the country five days a week, hopefully, weather permitting. And, um, yeah. Hmm. The base know we're here, we let them know and it's all good to go. And uh, oh, really? gets children inspired to join the Air Force or at least... So they're up for it then? Yeah, yeah, it's all good, yeah. So, so they, they, all have, they all Yeah, they all have different roles. Can I pick one up? Yeah, of course you can. So this... Um, that's, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so that's Jens. He, uh, he's, a, he's a visitor. He's Yusuf, is he? Uh, no, he's um, Ground Crew Drew. So oh, he's he? Ground Crew, yeah. And uh, this one's Wingy. He's, he's ex-Wing uh, Commander. He likes Berlin engines and Spitfires. Um, and then you've got, then you've got you've got a couple of visitors that people donated to us as visitors. Oh, so you've got Royal Australian, yeah, yeah. you've got German Air. Uh, oh, that's German, is it? Yeah, you've got German. You've got uh, the RAF Regiment as well. Oh yeah. Uh, so again, and then you've got a mascot from Lake Anif. This is Lakey. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, they all do different things and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, wingy there. Yeah, so I saw that. All right. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's, that's it. Brilliant. Yeah, they all do their thing, you know. And so just... is it still do you put together or is it a video? What is it you do? Oh, it's live. <laughs> it's live streaming. It's all live now and you can just tune in and So what will you put the teddy bears in live they're as well? On, yeah, they're on there, yeah, they've been on. So what do you do with the teddy bear when he's going live then? Wow, they come alive. It's a good day. Yeah, lots That's of airplanes. Yeah, 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 you'll be good at that. Yeah, you'll be good. Lots of airplanes today. Did you know that? Look yeah. at that. Look at that. There's one over there. Look. Yeah. I'll have to go on YouTube and yeah. have a look. Yeah, you can see. have a look. Yeah. See him come to life. Look, look at that over there. Yeah, look. Yeah, I'll show do you. That. Don't do that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> see, you got it. You're a natural. <laughs> I need, I need, yeah, you're a natural. That's right. Mm. So they all have different voices, so I have to do all their accents. Really? Yeah. So the German one's got a different one, does he? He has, yeah. This one's. This one's um, Aussie. Oh right, that's good then. I've got to go out there for the day. Yeah, good Get the plane out, you know, he's, like he's, you do. Yeah, he's, he's really chilled out. He's like really like... He's from... Uh, so, I can't tell you where he's from because no one knows. Oh, is he just Australia? Yeah, he's from South London. South London? Yeah. Oh, it's cracking, isn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey? Yeah, Down a pub for a beer, innit? Yeah. Hey? What do you think? Puppy. No. <laughs> Puppy. 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 Yeah. Let me just put that out. Right, yeah. Hey, down the King's Arms, what do you think? Yeah, it could hey, do. Yeah. could go down the King's Arms, yeah. Is that one frightfully posh? No, yeah. no, uh, no, that's Reggie. Oh, right, he's a bit of an, he's a bit of an arrogant git, is he, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, she, she's, she doesn't talk, she's a cow, obviously. Oh! Mm. Yeah, there you go. I'll just put them in there before they go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. We have we've wingy, yeah. We've got yes. wingy. Oh. So yeah, if you check it out, Ted Coningsby, put it on and have a look. I might be having a look at that. Well, well, I, I, look, yeah. you know. I love YouTube. It's my favourite. Alright. Yeah, lovely. Come See here, you, you punk. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, enjoy. I'm not going too far. We've got the old and the very young too. No. Very old <laughs> very well young. nice to meet you. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah. we'll see you on the way back out today. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Ta ta. Bye. That was brilliant. <laughs> that was cool. That was funny as yes. that was really, really fun. <laughs> well, 
if you don't know, you don't know. This is it. This is uh, so many people have said, what's this guy doing with a load of teddy bears? Well, there you go. Probably laughing their heads off in the base. And, if, and probably you lot laughing your head off, ain't you? <laughs> that was cracking. Ba -da -ba. Well, there you go. Live is life. That's how it is. I mean, I remember last time we were here, we had um, we had them cutting the hedges, trimming the hedges. That was a, a bit of a strange moment as well because we were thinking we might have to move and the noise and the sound. That was that was a good one. We've had so many good times. Oh yes. <laughs> Part two coming up, here we go. <laughs> Ted Connors be channeled live. Still need to go for something to eat. Every time I go and grab something to eat, it uh, something happens, which is good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, Ellie J, how you doing? Hope you're well. Edward oh, Coates, oh. hope you're good. Natalie Savage, uh, yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All part of the fun. Johnny B, how you doing? Michael Bruce, Craig, Craig enjoyed that. Oh yeah. I know those are A four hundreds. I can't stop laughing at that bit. <laughs> oh dear.
Yeah, so those two are um, A400s. The only way you can tell if you knew, I discovered that. So the sort of um, the elevators on the top, it's got like a bulge. It's like a bulges out. This bit here. So if I have that on the centre, it sort of bulges out. If you know what I mean. It's not that 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 line of the ta the stabiliser doesn't go sort of straight. It goes sort of around on the front of it. Same with this one. Uh, whereas if you look at a C17, it doesn't have that. I know it's quite kind of discreet and not not the most obvious thing to to point out. But if you if you've just got the tail and that's all you can see, it's the only thing I could think of. It's the elevator on the stabiliser on the tail. Um, it's got that bulge where it can maneuver it. That's that's anything that I can see that's different on them. Obviously, if they were part side by side, the C17 will be uh, a little bit taller. Um, but just like that, just with the tail, that's how I. That's any difference I found out. Because they do look similar. I'll give you that. Very similar. And of course, we can tell it's an A400. Confirm that. And it's not a, um, the world's longest A400 with two uh, wing uh, tails. <laughs>
Well, that is the RAF Falcons aircraft, isn't it? We're going to get another one. We'll keep an eye on that. Well, I will. <laughs> um, I'm wondering because the no time it, um, people have put us until half past two, so maybe it's not it. Maybe that's maybe it's too late. So I'm not too sure. And this is going to come quick and and do it on this turn in. So let's have a look. So let's see. I'm keeping an eye on it now. That'll be good to get it in this light. Let's, uh, let me just check the squawk code zero zero three three. What's uh, what's that? Is that a para jump? Is it aircraft para dropping? Sweet, we may have right squawking zero zero three three. So they should be coming in any second now. Hello. Hello there. What's coming in? Uh, the uh, Falcons are doing a parachute display. Oh, are they? Yes. Right, let's get ready for this. Here we go. I hope we get this right. I've got to be in my best performance. Let's have a look. I'll see if I can get them jumping out this time. Hopefully, they're coming back. And this is uh, squawking 0033, which is the para dropping squawk code. Come on. All right, let's get them. Let's do this. Come on. Right, <laughs> Falcons probably, possibly jumping out again. Here we go.
some low scattered well not low but it depends how right where are they i'll try and get them jumping out this time now that i know what the hell what's going on like you know what i mean okay so just on the edge of two five Let's try not to mess this up, Nikos. Come on. Oh, I can hear the aircraft, but I can't see it yet. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness me, the door's open.
beautiful. <laughs> well, there you go. Check that out, man. Oh, yeah. Royal Air Force Falcons, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Royal Air Force's parachute display team. Oh, yeah. Hey, the Fort Red Smoke. Quick drop Friday. <laughs> But there you go. That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, I Q. Yeah, it should take a minute. That was something different, wasn't it? Ginger Bailey, yeah man, totally, a little bonus there. <laughs> More ribbons in the gift shop, yeah man, that's classic. a little bit different isn't it Bjorn Danielson how you doing hope you enjoyed that that was a little bit different now wasn't it right so now that everything is uh, I think that's it so there you go squat code 0033 that's your para jumping para parachuting Thanks a lot, Captain Eight. Good luck, oh, Robert Owen. Yeah, that was great, that. Totally forgot about their aircraft, actually. Has that come in yet? Has that landed? Or have I classically bissed it? have some else to eat then make another some else happen that was good that parachute display team
G Van Pulley and off to Walmart for some steak and cheese pie. I love that, man. Oh, thanks for the super chats, everyone. Really kind of you. Really kind of you. It was uh, that's 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 so helpful. It really is. I can't say it enough. It really does help fund the channel and put the fuel in the van because you know it's a it's another two and a half hour trip back, and I can't do it without your support. So honestly, thank you all so much for the kindness and the support you've done, uh, not just today but throughout. It's uh, it's an incredible journey. Um, we are, we're so close to 45k as well, when we are one stream short this week. Uh, was it a enter the runway or was it across Charlie Delta? Show him one sec. Thank you so much. Lots of super chats. Thank you very much. Guards March coming up. For you lovely people. That's fantastic. Got Rob Kennard, Andrew Porter. Oh, thank you all so much, man. Natalie Savage joining. Uh, good luck, O joining. Craig Coxon joining. Craig Coxon with a super chat and Ronald uh, Turnbull as well. Oh, thank you all so much for that. Give me one sec. Let me just uh, let's get Ted. I oh know this is quite rare. Look at that lovely sky now. Amazing, isn't it? So, guards march is coming up for uh, Rob uh, Andrew Porter. Uh oh. Oh no, Teddy. <laughs> Careful, mate. That's uh, the berries here. Woo. That's close. Oh man. Try again. Ted. Ted's coming back. <laughs> it's like a balancing act up here, isn't it, Ted? Right, guards march for uh, Andrew Porter. Thank you very much. 
we we'll have to keep them a little bit tight, the guards marches here, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But uh, thanks a lot, Andrew, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Rob Kennard, who needs EastEnders? Thanks for the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to these three new members to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. We have Natalie Savage. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Nice one, and thank you so much. Thanks for the support. Uh, we got uh, Good Lucko. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Guards March for you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that. And uh, Craig Coxon. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. And also for your super sticker as well. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Guards March again for uh, Craig Coxon. Ronald Turnbull. Nice camera work, Nikos. Oh, thank you very much. Guards March for you. Thanks so much. That's so awesome. Thank you very much for your super chat. LC, for seven months, excellent content on the best military aviation channel. Ah, oh, thanks, LC. Thank you very much. Guards March for LC. Thank you so much, LC. That's so kind of you. Thank you. And I hope you're all having a good Friday. Hope you're all enjoying it. And I'm going to wish you all a amazing amazing weekend so uh still still here we've still got still got a couple of hours yet in our in our stream so uh hang in there grab what you need to we haven't had any circuits really have we but uh i'll tell you what two displays two practice displays from the uh the falcons amazing that's uh never never thought i'd ever say that before never been a, you know thought i'd say yeah we've got uh today we've got the uh royal air force falcon display team Amazing. Oh, they are RAF parachuting is part of the military. Amazing. What's that down there then, Ted? What's that gleaming down there now? Some lights. Cool. roughing it today we're on the ladder with a makeshift custom <laughs> tripod Thanks again. I've just seen Stu Martin and uh, oh, thank you and Ronald Turnbull as well. Thanks a lot, man. Let's just check to see what that A four hundred's doing.
Tiri 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 tiri. Yeah. Hope we're all good, ladies, shenta, teddy bears, Ted Coningsby channel, live here at RAF Bryce Norton. It's been a good day, hasn't it? It's been pretty cool with the, uh, what we've seen, two A400s uh, depart, one Voyager, uh, one Voyager land, and one A400 land. No circuits yet. Still got time. There's one... A400 that's possibly coming back. Blenheim 3 1, that's a possible. Here to be uh, emotional, but I wasn't. <laughs> It's been tested. It's a little bit warm, just a bit of breeze. Do you know what? I really wish they were using 07 now, just a, like a little runway change. That'll be nice, just to mix it up a little bit. It's pretty cool when they use that.
Oh, Stu Martin and Robert Turnbull. Thank you. Thank you for your super chats, man. I'll just uh, I'll just get our squadron leader for the uh, guards marches. Like I said, this is a, a bit of a makeshift uh, tripods setup we've got today, but that's what we have to do when we're out here in the wild. And uh, yeah, Stu Martin, thanks, man. Friday, PM, cold one, two, right? <laughs> oh, I will. I will. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's always a nice feeling going home, especially when you've traveled quite far and you've had a good day. It's uh, honestly, it's, it's a really good feeling. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing worse than like having a bad day and you've traveled far away. We've all done that, but you know what? The thing is, I don't think I can have a bad day if I have you all with me, because it's, you, you guys make the community. It really is, it's, um, it, they, we could just have, I mean, we've done it before. We've had like one aircraft here and it was, uh, not here, sorry, uh, Mildenhall, it was one aircraft. Okay, we had a, a practice diversion from um, Cran uh, Cranwell, but uh, you know, it's just fab that I've got you all here with me. Thank you very much. Guards March for Stu Martin. Thanks for the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Guards March. And um, Ronald Turnbull, thank you very much, man. Thanks for the Guards March. Well, you get another one now for, for the super chat. Guards March for Ronald Turnbull. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, you two. High five, Ro uh, Ronald. High five, Stu. Thank you very much. Off he goes. Ted just going off there. I love the way he just toddles off there now. I love that. He loves it. But we don't mind. It's nice, this little spot. I like it. It's just something different. And it's pretty cool when they come towards you. And it's so good when they do circuits and when they do a run and break with the sun behind us as well. But when, when you've got a C-17 doing a run and break, O-M-S. Oh, my salmon. It is. We've got a video of it from here, this spot. We've had some great memories here and, um, you know, it's just, yeah, it's cool. Oh, I mean, I've been down the other end as well, but I don't know, something about this is just a bit quiet and you do get to meet some lovely people along here, as you can see and tell. And um, all is good. We just needed a C-17 to complete our Bryce bingo. I mean, if you stay long enough, you can see one because this is a 24 hour base. It's one of those that I can recommend if you are um, restricted to just having weekends off. Bryce and Mildenhall are your, kind of like your best bet. They're, they're your ones that you, that you would do.
having a look. Looks like Blenheim 3 1 is heading this way, whether or not it comes back. Hello. How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Hope we're all good. We're all good. Thanks everyone that's uh, still tuned in. Thank you for that. Thanks for the support. We've got uh, Tress by it. Marco Baxter, Ronald Turnbull. How are you all doing? Captain A, Davey, Julie UK. Sylvester, Marvina, Margo, MC Mark. Hi, good. How's it going? Hope you're good. Mm, Davey, how's it going? Dee -dee 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 -dee. David Binch, thanks for getting the Teds out, thank you. Rob Kenner, John Minter, oi oi. Greetings to you, oi oi to Derek. Tour on Yemi, how you doing? Good luck out. Jess Croson, how's it going? Robert Owen, Andrew Porter, Johnny B, Katie Webber, how's it all going? Captain A, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that one's alright. I don't mind getting a lot of interference today on that, but normally that's alright. That's the ground.
go in there now. Oh, the sun held out nicely. It's all good. Right, what we got here now? Right, how's it going? Andrea Hayes, well, wishing you a happy birthday for Sunday. Oh, aircraft two to start. That sounds good. Sounds good. Andrea, hope you have a good birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday from all of us at the TCS Guards March. Thank you. I yeah, have a bear hug for your birthday as well. <laughs> sounds like we've got a start up as well coming soon again again for those that are kind of used to me on the van this is a little bit different when we're at Bry's I, I rough it on a ladder and balancing act makeshift everything but it works it's done we're here and we're having a bit of a good time when I move on the ladder it will sort of bubble a little bit Bjorn Danielson, how you doing? Hope you're good. Hope you're good, man. LFC Dan, how you doing? Blenheim 3 1 just turning around. <laughs> Welcome to the Ted Connors B channel live here at RAF Bryce Norton. <laughs> it's got our wrap. 400 just coming in, Blenheim 3 1 call sign. I uh, did hear that uh, they will be doing a start up soon, so that's going to be good, which hopefully would lead to a, uh, a departure. Oh, what's that? I think I can hear something starting now actually. I know you guys can hear it before I can. Can you hear that? I can hear something starting up. Alright, where's our A400? Nice. 
taking it. There we go, there she is. Oh, oh, beauty. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Sadly, it's a full stop, but... Uh, Look at this, this is absolutely incredible. The maneuverability of this aircraft is phenomenal. Clear to land at such a time. <laughs> Look at this. You only get this on fighter jets, man. Look at it. Let's ride. <laughs> Look good from here as well. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's incredible. That is that just looked really rough, man. But uh, obviously, skills.
Sounds like we've got another departure. Comet 456. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just like laughing. Uh, Spanner. <laughs> oh, you got. <laughs> There's some things going on here now. Oh, dear. So, we do have another departure, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Right, Lady Shen's teddy bears, get ready, fasten your seat belts. We have another A400 departing. out for the amazing contra contra turning blades contra rotating blades the c-130s they tend to go in just all of them in one direction these engines they uh, turn in different directions so the inner ones turn into the like to you know into the aircraft and the outer ones so engines one and four they turn outwards so it's quite an easy way to remember that if they're on the out, you know, on the outer part of the wing, they, they turn outwards. I'm sure that's right. Let's find out. <laughs> and then the in, inner ones turn inwards. You'll see. So engines two and three. Uh, engines, if you want to know, even with a Typhoon or F-15, uh, it's um, from left to right. Engines, they go, they're numerical, number one, two, three, four, etc. So engines one to four, I believe they turn outwards on the A400 and uh, engines two and three turn inwards. But I'm just going to confirm that all together live. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
Hmm. Don't know what's happened there. Comet four five six has just disappeared. Line up and wait. Okay, come on. Definitely an A400 down there, Comet 456. Here we go. Here we go, clear for takeoff. Let's ride, come on. Here we go. we go it's a big climb friday oh, send it
You never thought you'd hear that, an unrestricted climb from an A400 to flight level 190. Thanks very much for the at, uh, yeah, unrestricted climb. I thought it was a bit steep. It's like, goodness me, that was, uh, so that was a climb to flight level 190. So for those that don't know what flight level is and what that means, it basically just add two zeros to it and that will give you the feet in thousands. So that's flight level 190, that's 19,000 feet. Of course, if it said flight level 170, that's 17,000 feet. Flight level 100, that's 10,000 feet. You can even, you will even hear flight level 50, 5,000 feet. Just add two zeros. Oh, okay, thanks, Rose Florian. I was right about the props. Yeah, thank you. That's one way to remember. If they're in, they spin in. If they're out, they spin out. I totally forgot about that.
Like that, I can't do a 360 on this thing, <laughs> or at least a vertical one. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, I can't just turn right like 180 like that. Unbelievable! Nice little sound, wasn't it? Right, so do a quick battery check. Ba -da -ba. 
Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Fry's Norton. How are we all doing? Hope we're all good. Well, that was an incredible climb out from the, uh, the A400. Amazing. Like I said, they don't need much of a runway. They don't need much at all, really. They are up very quickly. Hopefully we get another Voyager depart. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be really good. You never know. Memorial, the uh, Dakota to the uh, 47 Air Dispatch. It's been a good fun day, hasn't it? Really good, really good fun day. Incredible. How are we all doing? And uh, yeah, a little bit of a change. We've always had, um, well, we've always had good times on Fridays here. It's been really good fun. check the skies uh, let's have a look what we got we do have a Voyager um, potentially coming back just about to go over uh, over land in probably in about 25 seconds or so maybe less maybe more thereabouts that's the uh, Ascot 2165 or Royal Air Force 2165 
Nick, how you doing, man? Oi, oi to you, Nick. Bano, you do. I'm all good, man. I'm all good. How you doing? Let's ride. Chris, how you doing, man? Chris Bloxham, hope you're well. Babs Art, Arjun, hope you're all good. Drew Martin, Colin Scrim, Hank Verhuel, how's it all going? Hope you're all good. Not long to go, hopefully, for some more movement. Yeah, so we've got a Voyager. Uh, Royal Air Force 2165 just on its way back. Comes up as three hours. It could either be Ascot or Royal Air Force. <laughs> Alex Binks just had some amazing news buzzing and my Reggie just arrived there now. Cool. Enjoy. Reggie tactical power nap. <laughs> nice. Oi oi white wizard how's it going? So yeah we are due with the arrival of, uh, of a Voyager now. Hopefully it does a few circuits. You never know. Maybe one. That'd be nice. Uh, Patrick Lee, hope you get get better, get well soon. And I uh, hope you're all good with the hip replacement. Get well soon.
Cool, man. Enjoy, Hank. Right, let's have a look what we got then, eh? Right, ladies, shunts and teddy bears. Hope you've enjoyed the show today with uh, the... Uh, wow, engine run. So we, we will hear a start-up, but sadly it ain't going anywhere. But nevertheless, it's been great. We've had the uh, the Royal Air Force Parachute Display Team Falcons twice, which was pretty cool, wasn't it? One in the bl with the blue skies, which was great. That was really good. The um, voyage is just over London, central London at the minute, or sorry, north, just north of London at the moment. Wow, 1.5k likes. That is pretty impressive, actually. Thanks, everyone, for that. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for getting the TEDs out as well. That's fantastic. That's uh, pretty awesome. High power ground run. Nice. I know. Pretty cool, isn't it? Ba -da 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 -da. So yeah, we've got the uh, 2156, the Voyager just coming back, oh sorry, 2165, right. almost, Power, back to uh, front. Power ground run, amazing, that'll be for one hour they said as well, cool. We'll see what Comet 456 is going to do. 
hopefully give us a few circuits, we'll see. <laughs> you got this guy here. Look at this. Oh, is this the uh, burgundy one? It's a lovely day for flying. touch and go we got our very first circuit yeah let's ride here we go All right just a quick one if you are coming here please don't wear a jacket that you don't you don't mind uh, that you don't want to damage because there's all sorts of thorns and brambles and all sorts here and so just just uh, wear a jacket that you don't mind getting trashed if you are coming down here down this footpath. It's 
So touch and go for Comet 456. <laughs> Did you just see that? That was hilarious. So this will be a uh, touch and go Lady Shents and Teddy Bears of the A400M. Oh, let's see if we go. Loves the video bomb this one.
Here we go, let's ride. Okay. No touch and go. All right. Okay. <laughs> no touch and go. Maybe it was for the little piper. There's a lot of video bombers on here. Oh, look at this. <laughs>
beautiful look at this almost like bright white love the way military paint changes color almost from like like a dark charcoal to almost like flash white What's happened to that plane? What the? Is he all right, man? Um, oh, we just uh, go over here. Sorry about that. Something like it just died. I do love the way it disappears. Welcome back. Yeah, please don't do a touch and go now. You're a bit late. <laughs> nice, nice, nice.
There's our Royal Air Force man. That's the Voyager. A tanker for the Royal Air Force. Which refuels our uh, Royal Air Force aircraft. Yeah. So yeah, call sign Ascot 2165. Yeah, it usually has Ascot. When you see Triple R, it's usually Ascot. Usually. Not always, but usually. Beautiful, lovely aircraft. It's always nice to see the heavies. Unfortunately, we haven't had a uh, circuit today from the uh, from the heavies. Mm -hmm. I just heard some good news that we're at uh, 44.7k. Wow. Awesome.
There you go, you got it. There you go, you got it. Beautiful. Thanks, Ginger Bailey. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, thanks. It costs Ted TCS Spanners, everyone, for this week's streams. Another great week as usual. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, people are asking about the Pipers. There are uh, these are part of the Bryce Norton Flying Club. They are based here. They're not they're not part of the military, but they're they're uh, there's a flying club here.
can also get flights here to the uh, Falklands, Ascension Islands as well, and Akrotiri. Thanks, Steve Wright. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I hope you all enjoyed the show today. It's been a good one. Uh, lots of you um, kindly uh, just let me know if you aircraft are... Uh, Hello. Hello, dude. Yeah, Any good, thanks. Any interest in coming in? Um, just the usual. Oh. Just the usual. Nothing exciting, though. Well, hopefully. <laughs> There's still time.
got 225. Not too far to go now. Oi, oi, everyone. How's it all going? Hope you'll enjoyed that. Right, let's uh, come on to march time. Hope you're all good and enjoyed that. It's been a cracker of a day. Oh, thank you very much, Colin Humphrey. For joining us the ted coningsby squadron guards march coming up for you and uh bjorn danielson gifting a ted coningsby membership We've got rob kennard as well gifting memberships and a lovely super chat from uh ginger bailey we'll get some guards marches coming on then shall we let's do this ted let's ride so colin humphrey welcome to the ted coningsby squadron thank you very much Guards March. Thank you very much. Bjorn Danielson, thank you for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Guards March for you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice one, Ted. Uh, Rob Kennard, thank you very much for gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you so much for that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, that's so kind of you. So you've just made five lucky viewers members of the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Ginger Bailey, thanks Nikos, Ted Spanners, everyone for this uh, week's stream. Another great week as usual. Thank you very much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you as well. It's good to see you as well, man. And, uh, and uh, Ginger as well. Thanks, Julian. Thank you so much for that. It's been a been a fun day hasn't it it's been really really good really good how we doing ted coningsby channel oh yeah it's uh yeah we're good aren't we sorted so yeah roughing it as we do but no worries loving it roughing it and loving it that's a good one isn't it roughing it proper ted coningsby channel live here at raf bryce norton it's been a it's been a good one it's been a good week you know we lost one stream sadly due to the cancellations of aircraft um due to the weather but uh no worries we're, we're back hitting 44.7k how are we all doing hope we're all good and i hope you enjoy today a lovely surprise from the royal air force's uh, parachute display team the falcons it was really really good and uh i uh, hope you enjoyed that and it was nice to see them uh, perform it twice in uh, with blue sky I know they're gonna love that probably that's probably uh, what it was to come back having some blue sky there but yeah hope we're all good hope you're enjoying it and a uh, great way to finish up uh, we'll finish up in about 24 minutes we'll finish up around five o'clock uh, we'll catch this uh, Voyager and you never know might even get another departure as well between them so uh, yeah let's uh, let's ride and enjoy it and a massive shout out oh yeah to all my viewers it's been incredible 44.7k as well um 1.4 1.5k likes it's just great really really good and that's all down to you so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed it a little bit of a change of pace you never know what you're going to get here it can be absolutely just monstrously monstrously but is that more is that even a word monstrously what's that coming in? is that the little piper landing yeah amazing incredible so yeah enjoy it let's see what else we're going to get before we finish up Yep, thanks Beth for letting me know. Yep, that's cool. Andy Stratton, oi oi. Elizabeth LeBourne, 
thank you for streaming without your van, Nikos. No problem at all, I don't mind doing it. Oh, hello, I thought you were landing, buddy. Oh, where are you? No, is it not landing? No, no, it doesn't want to land. Martin Nolan, how you doing, Martin Nolan? Hope you're good. Uh, it's going to be about a two and a half hour drive for me to get back uh, but no worries no problem at all all good fun thanks a lot Stephen Harrison thank you very much right let me just do a quick check before, uh should have enough battery. I've got I've got batteries. Whether or not I want to change it before this, uh, I should have enough. Just coming into London now. Ascot triple two five. Yeah, I'll just change it anyway. Be on the safe side. <laughs> Elizabeth, yeah, definitely. I'll be bringing some chocolate, all right. Mm -hmm. Will do. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Elizabeth, you but oh, no worries. She's loving it. You're welcome, Avril. Nikos, love the stream today. Add it on whilst I've been working. Great way to end the week. Many thanks and have a great weekend. You too, man. Colin Scrim, thanks. Uh, Spanner Flight, thanks as always for your work on the streams and on Discord. Exactly. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for that. <laughs> I haven't heard that for ages. God, they still say, do they still do Mars adverts? I haven't seen that. I know Wingy loves his Mars bar. Oh, let's have a bit more Coke speaking of that.
see ya. <laughs> Check Andy Stratton out. Look at him with his loyalty badge turning blue. Nice one. Congratulations on your blue skies badge, man. Yep, so we're just coming up to the end of the show, ladies, gents, teddy bears. We'll just see uh, Ascot triple two five. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Yeah, we're just coming up to the end of our show. We, like I said, we're just going to see uh, Ascot two two five or two 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 five return, and that will be our day. Been a great day. Been classic, classic stuff. Really good. Shame we didn't get to see the C seventeen fly. Um, but no worries, it's, uh, it's given us a lot of good memories though when it has been flying here at RAF uh, Bryce Norton.
Jesse Picks, thank you very much. Oi, oi, love the stream today. Really well done for all the good work. Thank you very much. You're welcome, uh, Colin Scrim. You're welcome, man. Thank you very much. Toxic chills back home from Coningsby today. Shame to be away from it all again, but have a great week. You too. Pilot non flying, have a good one. Liz and Tommy, thank you everyone for a cracking week. Come, uh, <laughs> can't always die. You're welcome. Take care. Have a good one. Yeah, hopefully the weather won't be emotional. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll uh, see what we're gonna do for the week. I'll see if I can mix things up a bit. Yes. Uh, Monday looks disastrous, by the way. Monday looks absolutely emotional. Dear, oh dear, I don't know if you've seen it. Let me check the Met Office again. I like, I like to just sort of... Monday just looks like an absolute disaster. I, oh dear. Uh, it's drier in the re in the sea. David Binch, can't wait till Tuesday. Yeah, it looks like uh, we. Monday looks horrendous. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, you did hear that right. It's drier in the sea. When uh, Monday looks horrendous. Uh, Garrett Poot. Have a nice weekend as well, thank you very much. Cheeseburger or southern fried chicken? States to do Oh, it'd have to be cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> 
So not long now for Ascot 2225. And that will be our uh, show over. But when it's a good week, you know, it's like on um, Quick Climb Friday. Um, when um, when I've had a good week like that, I don't mind the drive. You know, it's such a nice, such a nice way. I've got people coming, so I'll just be really quick. Yeah, it's such a nice, um, nice feeling when you've had a good week, and I don't mind the drive. And I know I've got a two and a half hour drive after this, but it really, really doesn't matter. It's just like, yeah, just chill out. I don't know if you, I don't, are there any of you like that like to just wind down the windows? Obviously, when it's not raining here in the UK, wind down the windows and just like, and just, just take a little country lane back home and have like not a care in the world about, you know, getting there like yesterday sort of thing. Just like, yeah, nice little drive. Yeah, man. That's, that's that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That is that is that is it. That is how I do it. And usually, I you know, um, especially here when it's such a long way. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's how I feel, and it's so nice. And I've got a nice uh, two and a half hour journey, but I don't mind, you know. Just stop off somewhere, get some nice dinner somewhere. I think that's what I'll do, take my time. I'm off tomorrow, that's the thing. There's no there's no rush or anything like that tomorrow, so just take it easy. Uh, um, Dakota must look nice in that, that light. Oh yeah. Right, not long to go. Just trying to get visual on the uh, Voyager. Literally just cut right over um, flew right over Fairford, that did. Yeah, I see it now.
sound. Smoothly done, look at this.
just uh, see it off, watch it come back, and uh, that's our show. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed it today, Lady Shins and Teddy Bears. It's been a cracker. engines to end the week eh we did it Quiet. Mm. God, you've got lots of equipment. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty professional then. Well, you know, <laughs> got a plan for all sorts, you know. <laughs> well, there we go. A lovely way to end the week. Right, that's it then, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Here we go. Let's uh, pop this over here. See if I can do it without anyone coming, because this is it gets busy now, doesn't it? With uh, pay. Oh, how are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Yeah, it gets gets busy with uh, the residents. So I think we'll be all right. I mean, they could be in it if they want. Anyone want to come in? Just get on the TCS channel. No problem at all. No worries. Right, let's just pop that down there a bit more. Take a little step down. How we doing? Right. Yeah, we're good for a little bit. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, guns up.
What is that down there? All right, cool. Ted, where are you, mate? Let me just get Ted quickly. Can't not have Ted on here. Right, it's been a fantastic week. Um, by the way, guards march for Andy Stretton. Well done for getting uh, 12 months. Thank you so much for your loyal service. Thank you. Everyone, honestly, what a week it's been. It's been a fantastic week. It's been incredible. And um, just enjoy your weekend. Have a good time. For those that work in, have a good one. We'll think it of you. And uh, just want to say a massive shout out to all of you. It's been a real good week. We've worked hard at it and we've pulled through. That's the way, through storms. That is the way the TCS is, man. Thank you all so much for tuning in and giving us support. Lots of lovely, lovely new, new members as well coming in and new viewers and new fans. Thank you all. And our regulars, of course, much love to all of you. Right. Uh, so we're gonna pack up <laughs> and uh, have a good time my goodness me blue skies finally why couldn't it be like this all week but never mind it's the way it is so ladies gents and teddy bears for the last time see you soon wish you well guns up see ya <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I better go. It's gone all weird. Take care, everyone. See ya.